right, this is the start of the 75th Brojo Cup. The first match is, of course, Magesan is not Korean. I need to check the flag. <laughs> My bad, here we go. This is better. Okay, so first match is gonna be none other than Nage versus Blazer. So Nage, I believe I believe that nobody needs to introduce Nage at all. He is probably the best uh, Faust player in the entire world. And yes, that comprises every single continent right there. Only to be probably rivalized by, I believe, there are probably three other, like, uh, really, really strong Faust, which might claim this title as well. It is none other than RF, also Leo, and also another one, of course, Apology Man. But in my own heart, I do believe that Nage probably has the edge over uh, the uh, before mentioned uh, players. The main reason being that he is pretty much the person who defined Faust on several different. Uh, iterations of Guilty Gear and just as you can see right now you can see already Nage just applying so much freaking pressure in the corner and already gonna get the first kill so very very quickly. Trashback also has a very nice yeah a very very good uh a very good fast as well I'm not gonna lie. That being said here we go start of the second round as you go so uh, to give more info, Blazers is also a... So he's a, as you can see, he's a Potemkin player. First participation to today's uh, tournament. Well, to any iteration of the Brojo Cup, by the way. And uh, uh, so far, I do not have a lot of infos uh, regarding him. The reason being that I've never... I didn't really have any chance to play against him up until now. I didn't really see him on the Celestial floor either. But uh, what I can say is that people who participate to the Brojo Cup, we have a lot of uh, new faces who participate to it. And... We, it's always a pleasure to potentially see, uh, you know, new potentials and new players on the scene. So that being said, uh, Embers currently have the life lead, by the way, which is extremely, uh, extremely uh, surprising, may I say. And here we go with Embers. Oh, I tried to go for the command grab, but Nage woke up Nagare, uh, Nagare, <laughs> Abare didn't give him any leeway to do so. And here we go with the slider head. Unfortunately, got ah uh, yeah, got superseded by the uh, by the mix 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 from Nage. Quick first match goes to Nage. Let's see how this turns out for the rest of the evening. Well, for the rest of the of the set. So Blazer is Blazer gonna run it back? Yes, he does. Still sticking to his guns, to his Garuda Impact gun, may I say? And here we go with the slider head. Ember's trying to get that precious knockdown right there in order to run a uh, train wreck on Nage right there. But Nage uh, being very patient. Making good use of it. Oh, wow. That air grab from Ambers, though, was extremely good. Wow. Even got the bag dash on the, uh, the the command grab attempt from Nage. Okay. Nage does have the uh, does have the uh, the trumpet right there. Uh, also has me Faust to continue playing Flourish. Sure, tried to get a cheeky cross up right there. But Ambers actually managed to block it, but could not block the follow-up layer which was the command grab that being said very strong defense from blazer i'm not going to lie i'm, I'm actually quite impressed by some of his de de defensive um option not options but decision making here we go with a very big command grab right there from blazer goes for the garuda impact tries to get that knockdown using the 2d goes for the roman cancel wow i got the two s counter hit and he's probably gonna take it no, he's so far. Oh, and he got it with the OTG. Good lord. And Blazer with the perfect right there, man. Holy freaking lord. Good stuff from Blazer. Let's see how this pans out. Again, on we go. Good lord. Okay, Nagi does have Blazer in the corner. He's going to get the wall break for that precious, precious uh, positive bonus. Good lord. Okie dokie, we are going straight for the corner right there for Nage. Oh, he does make it out using the teleport and the scarecrow from Faust. That being said, yeah, things are looking pretty bad for Blazer. He doesn't have a burst. Uh, he's out. He's almost out of resource. Only one tension bar, only one RC in order to make something happen. Goes for the jump in. Unfortunately, Nage went for the uh, dive kick. Immediately, Roman cancel, and he goes for the take pressure right there, not leaving any gap in it. And he's gonna get the kill using the cavalry. Good stuff from Nage up two to zero. Definitely not. Definitely, Blazer actually performing way better than what I thought. Did you see these command grab loops that he got, and eventually managed to get a perfect off of Nage? Nage, man. And I mean Faust against Faust against um. What's his name? Uh, against Potemkin is definitely not an easy 
an easy thing to do, you know? So, yeah, no, I'm, I'm very, very surprised. So far, so good. Four embers, unfortunately, still stuck in the corner because Nage wants him to be there. <laughs> there we go with the overhead. Ah, uh, Nage got the pressure. Yeah, guaranteed pressure right there because Little Faust is here to spoil any attempts from Blazer to try to get out of the corner. I don't quite know what uh, Blazer tried to go for this time around. Fortunately, got clipped because of the blue room and cancel by Nage, which slowed up time and managed for Nage to confirm uh, into the uh, kill combo. That being said, here we go. This is the potential set point. Blazer needs absolutely to, well, to take this round and the follow up one if he wants to stay alive. Let's see if it's possible. To be fair, uh, well, it's not only difficult in the sense that this matchup is probably very, very hard for Potemkin, but it's also super hard because the person playing this character is none other than one of the best players, Faust players in the world. So yeah, definitely no easy feat for Blazer. That being said, he's really fighting for his life, trying to get out of the corner, trying to, yeah, gain ever so slight a little bit of, of of ground he's got the mega fist he's gonna get the hard knockdown unfortunately too uh far to get anything really going for him right there and here we go with nage going for oh lord he even got the freaking burst bait that was crazy and just like this man not yambu versus ken ken first time that they play against each other so definitely looking forward to it i know i repeat myself a lot and I don't care. <laughs> so yes, definitely looking forward to it. Gyambu, extremely strong Dagodinki player. He did make top 8 in, uh, I do believe it was Tiger Uppercut, a very big major in Thailand uh, a couple of months ago, together with uh, with Zij, the, the, the eternal doomer. And his opponent is none other than Ken Ken, extremely strong Giovanna player. So uh, yeah, both players, uh, first time they play a shooter, I have no idea who's going to take it, to be honest. Both players have the potential to do so. Uh, both players are playing uh, relatively strong characters, especially since, uh, well, everybody saw huh? the Arc Revo, TY rocking that mean meme Giovanna, making sure that she stay relevant in the Guilty Gear Strive meta. So yeah, let's see uh, what happened in Japan, especially uh, Giovanna is considered as a strong to very strong player, the uh, character. So uh, yeah, definitely uh, the character is not being slept on here. Very nice bait of the oh lord, the double bait man from Gyambu. Not only the YRC but also the follow up burst. That was sick. Good stuff from Gyambu. Very strong start of the round right there with Gyambu. Gonna get a wall break right there with a positive bonus. That was crazy. It's freaking hell, man. That was awesome. Good stuff from Gyambu. That being said, Ken Ken, you can feel. Ken Ken definitely not happy of having been played like this and the freaking bad dash on the Beyblade from Ken Ken, man. That was last second uh, dodge right here. That being said, here we go. Ken Ken trying to get out of the corner. Probably try to... Oh, okay. He's got the YRC right here. Ken Ken tried to beat the YRC, unfortunately. Well, fortunately for Yambu, he didn't do it right after being uh, um, pressured by Ken Ken. Okay, no entire here. A little bit too far to get entire anyways. And Yambu still with the... Uh, the BD's close slash man and just like this Yambu takes the first round extreme uh, the first map very very convincingly a very strong <laughs> sword to it so much okay that being said here we go second match of the evening first one went to Yambu I believe yeah he did and then they had this uh, weird like uh, connection errors previously that being said here we go oh lord and that jump out of Ken Ken trying to land right on top of the Beyblade to punish Yambu it's going to be hype indeed and here we go with Gumball already with the corner pressure. Look at this. Yeah, catching Ken Ken. And he even has the freaking burst bait again. Gumbu, the burst baiting god. <laughs> he goes with the clone and gets the kill. Good stuff from Gumbu. Gets the second round quite convincingly. Let's see how this spins out. Oh, okay, start of the round immediately using the DP with the follow up. <laughs> Not only scores a hit, but also a counter hit. Here we go with the command grab pressure again using the clone, man. Good lord. And Ken Ken afraid to press buttons or no, not afraid to actually uh, remain stationary. Pre caught pressing buttons and unfortunately gonna lose this match because of it. Come, golly, man. Yambu taking it with a perfect, definitely not here to waste any time at all. Good stuff from Yambu already on to set point right here. Well, not set point, but set match. Let's see how this pans out again. Ken Ken trying to land on top of the Beyblade, but can't get any sort of really, you know, solid follow up from it. Okay, Ken Ken goes for the tick pressure, tries to ooh, catch Yambu pressing buttons. A very nice bag dash right there on the far slash. 
potential or not, it worked. This is the most important thing. Okay, here we go. Oh, Lord! You're going with the cannon drill, man! Cannon drill for the... Uh, for the... Um, what's it called? For the shimmy. Scores a counter hit and very nice. Confirms right there from Ken Ken finally putting one on the board. Well, one round, that is. Let's see if Ken Ken can keep into this particular angle in order to uh, make a comeback. We shall see. Okay, that being said, nobody is calling me. Oh, shit. Trash bag! Oh, no, it's okay. Perfect. Trash bag, everything good. I thought your opponent was calling you and you didn't answer, but it's okay. Everything fine. Okay, we ways, and here we go with the tick pressure from Ken Ken again, man, with the confirms into the Ventania. Boom! Get out of here, life! Nobody needs it! Your opponent doesn't need any life, any health. And here we go with that tech pressure yet again from Ken Ken. Manages to take a very, very quick, very clean match. Hopefully, uh, both opponents are not uh, afflicted by uh, lag anymore. Let's see if. Oh, we started around with the Beyblade. Catches Ken Ken on his back dash. Okay, back to the neutral again with Ken Ken. This time around, manages to find a way to continue and keep the pressure on his opponent. Forces Gamble to pop the burst. Okay, no one here. Oh, Ken Ken closes the gap. Thanks to uh, Giovanna's absurdly great four dash. And here we go with Ken Ken. And the grab pressure into the Roman cancel into the Walsh Plat into you are dead. The start of the round again. You can see Ken Ken definitely taking into the air. Wanting, probably trying to bait Yambu into uh, Beyblading and landing on top of him. It's been working so far for him. But Yambu definitely catching uh, Ken Ken being very mobile during Okizeme uh, sequences and catching him either pressing buttons or quite simply either trying to uh, chicken jump or back dash. And just like this, Yambu's gonna take the wall break. Gonna get a positive bonus. So needed for Nagoyuki. That being said, right after post uh, wall break, Ken Ken manages to score a very, very big, big standing H into counter hit into a combo leading. Well, into further pressure leading into a wall break. And Yambu gets the hit with the quick dust into the Roman cancel. Just like this, we are heading into a uh, Vai. Uh, what's called the set points. Ken Ken definitely needs the following round if he wants to stay in the winner side of this bracket. Okay, let's see how this pans out. Okay, again with the Beyblade, and Ken Ken manages to find the opening using that jump. Ah, that jump strategy that he has. That being said, Yambo already out of the corner. Ken Ken holding on to his gear burst. Ah, gets the hit with the Trovao. A uh, simple tour, I'm sorry. Ah, but Gyambu goes and ah, he manages to bait the burst once again. Good lord. Ken Ken, what is he gonna do? Ken Ken, one chance, and he gets six speed for the ending. Good stuff from Gyambu. And here we go. It's not other than Nod versus TNT Steven. So just as I have said, TNT Steven, very, very... Yep. Gyambu, if you are if you don't have any instructions given to you in your uh, Tonomil chat, that means that your match is offline, so you can start your match right away. So yes, if you don't have any, uh, if you don't have any like directives given from me in your chat, in your personal chat with your opponent, that means that you can start. No problem. Okay, and that being said, Ryu is not being very, very strong right off the bat. Already got that wall splat, man. That is crazy. And here we go with the bandit bringer. Oh lord! And not uh, uh, trying to get that hit, but yeah, uh, Steven finds the way to oh to get the jump hit. Is that a safe jump? I think it is. Yes, it is. But it's still okay. Not did have like an additional extension bar to make everything safe. Finally, not forced to pop the burst. Gets the hit with the cannon drill counter hit. At that, he gets the follow up. But Steven getting out of the corner using the revolver, and here we go. The Freaking very strong salt pressure right there in the corner. Not, not afraid to press buttons, but Steven on point when it comes to the anti-air. And here we go with the up, down, the double layer. Uh, and this should be death right here. And look at the damage output of Saul, man. Saul, low tier, man, low tier. Low tier Saul, brother. <laughs> okay, that being said, here we are. Here we go with the vortex, man. Okay, let me check real quick if everybody is uh, playing correctly and okay, everything should be fine. Being said, here we go with the again, man. Oh lord, he goes for the low, but Nav was on point with the with the with the block, man. Yeah, you can start round two, uh, Gambo. You can. And here we go with oh no, it's the full thing. Viper got baited. Well, got baited. I don't know if it was a bait, but definitely had the wrong timing in order to pop it. So yeah, probably we can say it was bait. Baited. Okay, TNT. Uh, Steven getting out of the corner. 
I did get the hit, but couldn't quite confirm it. Not resorting to not. Not change. Ah, side. But it's still okay. What he did for Steven to pop the burst. Rigodia bar right in the revolver pressure from now. Not afraid. He does pop the burst. Had an unfortunate time in, unfortunately. Popped the burst a little bit early. Made it so that he could not sustain the uh, bended revolver pressure of Steven in the corner. And inevitably made it so that... Oh, I'm sorry. Not, not. Uh, that Steven uh, took the first match very, very convincingly. Let's see how this pans out. For the rest, the reminder of this uh, this set. And here we go with the burst, the quick burst from a nod right off the bat. Man, already in the corner. Already in the corner has to. Oh, I'm not gonna get scooped by the bandit revolver from Steven. He gets a full combo off of it, by the way. Here we go with the up down. Uh, the up down pressure and he goes down but look at the freaking look at the defense from not though okay i have to say like the the offense of steven is godlike but not defense is really on point too man good stuff from not still trying to stay alive not gonna lie it's not very easy oh but not finds the opening with the kick flip using the rc for extension drops the combo though oh no he gets scooped by the bandit bringer and you have to hold it and he gets scooped by the wild Oh man, not really on point on defense, but I mean, I mean, like you think you're sort of is a game where yes, of course defense is very important, but if you keep if you keep blocking all the time, you're gonna get open eventually. Like there's no going around it, and it's just it's just a matter of how long will it take for for Steven to open. And here we go with the big counter hit right there. This is not gonna kill, and he goes for the empty. Well, for the MT2, the very nicely done by Steven takes, it, uh, takes the second match with a perfect, extremely convincingly. Score is 2-0 in, in favor of uh, Steven. I keep pressing simple buttons at the same time. <laughs> Don't be confused, it is 2-0 in favor of TNT Steven. We'll get on to potentially the final match of the set. Ah, oh, right off the bat, immediate burst right off the bat from not already in Dire Strait. Has to sustain that strong pressure from Steven. Ah, and Steven with the Bandit Bringer, man, to kill. Not to kill, but to um, to close the gap between Nod and him. He gets the hard knockdown right there. No entire right there from Steven. This is uncharacteristic. Nod finally finding something out. Forces the burst upon Steven. Steven with... Oh, Lord! And that fake out from the, uh, from the gun flame into the grab by Steven. That cheeky man. <laughs> Gunflame, here we go back in the neutral. Not did get one hit, but couldn't quite get any extension off of it or any conversion for that matter. Here we go with not getting the knockdown with the grab, and Steven not afraid to pop the DP right off the bat. Here we go with the bended revolver from the 2S. Uh, confirm. Okay, not trying to get out of the corner, trying to go for the kick flip, but Steven interrupting it with a standing K. Here we go with the kick flip. He's gonna get a pretty nice amount of damage right there gonna get the wall break yes he will so positive bonus and oh kizemi guaranteed ah very nice uh bar if i'm not trying to get that last hit but steven refuses to give it to him not finding the opportune moments to press buttons though ah uh, tries to go for the quick does but steven man still look at the defense of steven man damn that defense man and he gets the kill with the kick flip which catches the back dash of steven very nicely done good stuff good stuff Okay, and here we go with uh, still on set point. Uh, the Bandit Bringer landing right on top of the recovery frames of the Nasante. You hate to see it. And Steven gonna get deep ball break with the uh, Tyrant Rave, man. He's gonna get the Oki. And he goes for the well throw for the kill. And Steven, man, takes it with a perfect three to nail down. Nogi, I love to see his Nagori Yuki, uh, Yuki, his Nagori Yuki, by the way, so that's perfect for me. So Nagori Yuki, Mugi versus Bro Jacko, both uh, repeaters of the of the uh, of the Brojo Cup, extremely strong players with their respective characters. Really looking forward to this match as well. Probably uh, not the first time they played against each other. I do believe the last time that uh, Mugi took it. That being said, here we go with the very, very oh lord and the cheeky command grab attempt right there from Mugi. Didn't quite uh, connect right there. Bro definitely looking for it, was able to jump out of it and punish it accordingly, which scored him a way out of the corner as well. Okay, here we go with the corner pressure from Bro, unfortunately does not have any minion left to sustain and continue there. Oh, here we go with the corner, oh, the overdrive, but Moogie jumped out of it, oh, oh, yeah, unfortunately Moogie was not caught in the middle of a hit in order to, uh, in order for Bro to catch him out of it. 
And here we go with the OTG pressure right there. Bro goes for the quick dust with the RC extension. Couldn't quite get the drill in order to seal the deal. Smiggy takes this opportunity to seal the deal himself. Unfortunate for Bro, man. I do believe there was a uh, juggle... <laughs> A jug well, I I'm no jackal expert, but I think there, there w should have been like a, a juggle combo right there for Bro to seal the deal. I do not know. Please, if you play jackal, let me know if what I'm seeing is correct or not. But I, I do believe there was probably a juggle combo which could have helped Bro seal uh, that, that round. That being said, here we go with uh, the second round. Uh, bro, unfortunately, with no minion on the, 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 on the stage in order to keep the pressure, and he goes straight for the overdrive. Is he going to catch him out of it? Yes, he does. Catch him out of the recover. What the hell is the kill? Good lord! That was a lot of damage. Holy freaking lord. I didn't expect it to kill. And bro still in it. He has a burst. Catches the uh, forward Fukio attempt of Mugi with his 2D. We go to 2K 2D. Bro getting out of harm's way, but immediately caught up by Mugi with his Fukio. And Mugi, man, finds the opening. Gets the juggle, man, with the standing and slash gonna get a wall carry combo and gets the wall oh no he didn't quite get the wall break probably because he was caught up in his recovery and that being said bro takes this opportunity to keep the pressure on man i know you but it was crazy right i didn't expect it to kill but then again i think it's because uh mugi had two blood uh, gauge uh full and which made it so that he had way uh, less uh Guts, and that's the reason why the super did so much damage. That being said, Mugi takes the first match with an explosive end of the round combo right there. It made Jacko's life completely meld at the end. It was a very, very impressive. That being said, we ourselves are moving on to the second match. Did I update the scoreboard? I do think I did. Yes, Mugi on leading 1 to 0. That being said, Bro finds the opening with a 2k 2d, but immediately, man. Gets the momentum stolen by him by Mugi. The bro makes his way out of the corner. Unfortunately, mistimes his media attempts. Gets grabbed out of the process. Here we go with Mugi baiting that that burst, man. It's not gonna be able to kill. He Mugi will benefit from a positive bonus. Ban gets the kill with the clone. The Shizuri Yuki, I think it no, Shizuri Yuki is the the DP, I think. It's the Kamuri Yuki, maybe. Okay, that being said, here we go, bro, just playing Super Mario with the head of Moogie right here. <laughs> Anyways. Okay, and bro, really trying to put as many minions on the corner, uh, on the stage as possible. Immediately, immediately cancels into the overdrive for added uh, damage. And Onokizeime catches the tech attempt right there from Moogie. He's going to get the wall bounce into the wall break for the kill. And here we go with Bro Sound getting a one round, one round perfecting equilibrium. Except that Mugi does have one match, uh, leading one match. Okay, Bro with the corner pressure. Ah, he's gonna get the juggle and the wall break. Goes for the overdrive. He's gonna do a lot of damage. Good lord. Okay, and Mugi didn't even have a single like bar of blood filled right here. So that was actually. Pretty decent damage. Oh, okay, we go. The, uh, the clone, Mugi takes... Uh, oh, no! And that was a mistime grab right here from Bro. That is so unfortunate. Uh, oh, Lord. Uh, okay, Bro finds the opening with the 2D low profiles. He's standing uh, S of Mugi. Mugi pops the overdrive. Unfortunately for him, Bro was blocking, but... Oh, Lord, is that going to be enough? No, not enough. Oh, Lord! And he gets the kill with the minion! Bro, putting one... Bro, one match... One match on the board. Good, we have a tie, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see how this pans out in the next match. Wow, Chilara gets sent in the losers. No shit. Gyambu sent Chilara in the losers? No. Damn, okay. Here we go to the 2K2D from Mugi. Tries to go for a command grab and no, nobody was here. Very nice to, uh, to S counter hit. Nah, there's no such thing as luck. Good stuff, Gyambu. Holy crap, man. Yeah, Gyambu just sent Chulala into losers, man. That's crazy. That's cray cray. Anyways, here we go with the tick pressure right there from Bro, from uh, Mugi. Mugi gonna get the wall break. He's gonna get the positive bonus. Oh, and gets the jump in, goes immediately for the overdrive. 
Nah, don't say this. Don't worry. Believe in yourself. Is he gonna get the wall break? No, too far too for the wall break. Unfortunate for Mugi. Still tried to bait that YRC, but Bro uh, held on to it, right for himself. And Bro almost got the juggle, unfortunately drops it. This may cost him the round, actually. Okay, Bro got the air grab, very nicely done. He's trying to bait that YRC, man. He's looking for it. Yeah, but Mugi doesn't want to give it to him. Yeah, yeah. Ah, Mugi finally popping the YRC and gets the kill. Okay, Mugi up 2-1. to one. What is gonna be the rest? Okay, bro needs this match if he wants to see in the winner's bracket. If he loses it, he will be sent directly into losers. Unfortunate burst from bro. He's gonna get ball broken. Here we go, 2k2d. Ah, and Lord Boogie goes with the command grab. He immediately gets a perfect off of it. Again with the jump in from Moogie. Bades the uh, standing K, the sending HS uh, from Bro and just jumps right on top of him. Mugi determined to use the command grab, man. It's definitely doing the work. And just like this, Mugi should be able to take it. Very, very convincingly, a clean three to nail, man. Good stuff, bro. Not this. Okay, here we go. Anyway, here we go. And the first match is going to be uh, Amato against Roy. Let's see how this pans out. Oh, what? Really? Actually rocking Bridget? What the hell? Okay, this I was not... I was not expecting. And immediately forces Amato to pop the burst. Holy freaking lord. Again with the 4 HS, man. This did a lot of freaking damage. Okay, and Roy has got the corner pressure. Here we go with Brisket. Gets the wall break with the 2 HS. Okay, Brisket having the positive bonus. I'm also trying to fight his way out of the corner, but Roy Soul finds the opening with the RC extension and gets the first blood. Be right back. Okay, sorry for the wait. Oh, Lord. Okay, first a match goes to Roy. Uh, and I can see that uh, I can see that Amato actually took the uh, one, one round as well. Good stuff, man. But I'm quite surprised that Roy is actually rocking Brisket. I was not expecting this. I thought he was going to rock uh, Soul, but that's not the case. But you know what? The more character representation, the better. So I'm actually happy that he's not rocking Soul. Because we have a lot of Soul already. Well, we have one Soul. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to go with the big six spear right there from Roy. Soul right on the spear attempt from Amato. He tries to bait that burst, but... Amato deciding not to pop it for good reason. He will get almost well splatted, but that being said, we go with Roy using every tricks in the book to try to apply pressure in the corner from Amato. Amato trying to read a jump out of Roy right there and trying to catch him in the air, but uh, Roy just not deciding to not move this time around. Very nice 2k2d uh, right there from Roy. 
I think he got the... No, he didn't get the trumpet. That being said, Rugo in the corner pressure and Roy manages to seal the deal. Good stuff from Roy. Here we go, second round. Ah, Lord, the big 6P again from Roy, man. Finally, the opening. Oh, this is uh, not looking very good for Amato. Oh, and here we go with Amato popping the overdrive. Rightfully so. Ah, good Lord. <laughs> and Brisket getting hurt. Uh, getting her legs broken. Again with the double command grab attempt from Amato successfully doing it. And Amato trying to look for that burst, and unfortunately for Steven, doesn't even have the time to burst because Amato cancels into the overdrive for the kill. And just like this, Amato puts one on the board. Uh, one round on the board, that is. On to the third round. The one who takes this one takes it out. Well, it takes a round, that is. He's a mouse, that is. Okie dokie, present cookie, and here we go. The corner pressure from Roy, man. Look at this. What are you gonna do? Press a button? <laughs> you don't have time to press a button. Good lord, and look at that pressure. This is big. Big wall break right there from Roy. From Roy, yes, indeed. Ah, gets the 2 HS trade in his favor. Could, he couldn't quite get the killing blow, but did get a little bit of a combo extension thanks to it. Okay, nobody. Oh, and he catches the backdash attempt using the roller skate. Good stuff from Roy. Up to the zero. What is Amato gonna do? Okay, potential final match of uh, this set. Let's see if Amato can bring it back. Nice tick throw right there from Roy. Gonna get the corner pressure. Yes, he did. He cannot press a button right there because of uh, the yo-yo. Okay, Amato forced to pop the burst. Gets hit by his own weight. Oh, uh, Lord. Nope. Yeah. Um, it, uh, Faust does have the ability to low profile. Uh, the 2HS and the uh, far slash. The, he has the possibility to crawl the uh, standing HS and the standing slash of of brisket. That being said, yeah, Roy pops a burst, but Amato gets out of the corner using the scarecrow, gets a combo extension and a combo pressure. Roy not popping. Ah, uh, the YRC, very nice use of the scarecrow. TP right there from Amato and the wake up DP from Roy. And oh no, he wanted. I don't think he wanted that side switch. Unfortunately, he got it. Ah, oh, Lord. And the trade. Here we go. This is mix up steady. And Roy goes for the low for the kill. Here we are on set point. Is Amato going to be able to bring it back? We shall see. Good Lord, we're going to jump in. Amato, no. Can I, oh, again with it. Six. Into the six P right there from Roy. And you're... Ah, uh, no corner pressure. Amato almost out of the corner. Unfortunately, I'm already put back inside of it. Out, Meteor. Time. Here we go with the side switch. Good stuff from Amato. Ah, uh, Little Fights is here to keep the pressure on. Here we go with some mix, mix, mix. Gonna get the juggle. Ah, I tried to go for the command grab, unfortunately. Ah, uh, Roy having every single nice read right here. Okay, catches the backdash attempt. Oh, Lord, here we go with the pressure, man. You have to hold it. Goes for the dust, man. Does counter hit. That actually comboed. That was sick. Okay, and I'm up to on the verge of getting uh, sent to the loser's bracket. Ah, uh, get six speed. No, you don't want to see it. Ow, the 2A is slow. And Roy using the BL blue Roman cancel to uh, cancel his recovery frame. So let's see. RX versus Atemu. Let's see how this is going to pan out. Is it because of Evo Japan's many strong players? Yeah, it's crazy, man. I think, yeah, everybody saw like Arc Revo, uh, the, um, the finals. They saw the Arc Revo and they were really hyped because of it. And then they decided to. And Evo is also, you know, right around the corner. So, so most of them probably tried to join as many tournaments as possible in order to, you know, get some practice, I guess. Love Guilty Gear Strive just started, uh, played it because just recently released on Game Pass. Great, that's good to hear yourself, Archive. It is a pretty fun game, I'm not gonna lie. It's a pleasure to have you here to uh, enjoy it together with everybody who's here on the uh, on the chat as well, on the stream as well, man. Okay, and here we go with uh, the tech pressure. Well, the the pressure from Atem trying to get out of the corner and successfully killing RX in the making. <laughs> Okay, Rx getting hit by a big Kizuri right there from Atemu. Gets hit by the forest as well. Rx already in the corner. Very nice grab right there from Rx. Switches places, got the corner pressure. Okay, caught Atemu pressing buttons. 
There you go, the positive bonus from RX. He's got the sustained state, unfortunately, for him. Atemu managed to get the hit in first and therefore nullify the sustained state that RX had applied on him. He got the Wasariki, gonna get the ah, corner pressure. RX with the Abari gets out of the corner, uses the TP to do so. Oh, gets a forest into Arbiter, into another Arbiter, tries to get the Arbiter mix up going. And young man reaction right there. Immediate grab on the Fukio. Forward Fukio attempt from Atemu. Very nicely done by RX. Ah, this time around gets clipped by the second follow-up hit of the uh, DP from Atemu. Atemu finds the opening with the 2S into uh, standing HS. Got the opening with the 4S. Tries to get that wall break. Very nice and fortunate clash right there from RX. Got out of the corner thanks to it oh lord and he again with the grab man rx young man reaction as i said goes with the arbiter now unfortunately did have the correct read in trying to enter his opponent unfortunately atemu was already on the other side when the uh six hs came out the six p came out and unfortunately for rx atemu goes with the overdrive for absolutely no chance for rx to burst and Atemu takes the first match quite convincingly, not gonna lie. You mainly do Strife tournaments or do you also do fighting games? I do fighting games in general, but uh, recently only Strife. I haven't streamed another fighting game in a very long time, but I mainly do Strive. But I am definitely going to play Street Fighter uh, 6 when it comes out, and I'm definitely gonna do tournaments of Street Fighter 6 as well. And I'm definitely gonna play uh, Guilty, uh, not Guilty, well Guilty Gear Strive obviously, and also Grand Blue uh, Fantasy, I think they call it, Rise or Rebirth, I, I don't remember, but the extension that comes out, I'll also be playing and streaming with all of these games. Yeah, so yeah, definitely look forward to it. Anyways, here we go, the jump, uh, the air to air from RX. He's got the juggle, tried to get the juggle with the standing K, but no one was home. Very nice XP, he's gonna get the key right there with the Super Arbiter. Good stuff from RX, finally, finally gets one on the board. That's good to hear, man, self archives, and thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to the bro, Joe. And here we go with the pressure from Atemu trying to keep Arx in the corner, but Arx said, hell, with, to hell with this, I'm not seeing there. Oh, nice with punish, but couldn't quite get anything substantial out of it. Again with the Fukium and Atemu just going straight after Arx, not like, giving him any leisure time to uh, try to uh, get his zoning game going. And Arx will get the wall break with the literal Karasu. Ah, the big 6p counter hit from Atemu, man. Ah, he's got the wall there. Oh, no. You hate to see it. Good stuff from RX. Well, to be fair, RX did have, like, two bars of uh, Super, so it was a very, very logical for him to use it right here in an Okizeme position. Good stuff from RX. Puts one on the board. We have a tie, lazy, ladies and gentlemen. Lazy and gentlemen. <laughs> Let me see. Here we go with RX already popping the burst right off the bat. Okay, got the uh, just block right here into the 2k 2d. Good lord, the 6. <laughs> the 6 HS does so much damage, man. 3 6 HS, 50% of the life of Arx already gone. Anyways, there we go with the stain state and again with the 6p from Atemu to get rid of said stain, stain state. And the Arbiter game is strong with this one. Good stuff from Arx gets the kill using only the Arbiter. Okay, here we go to RX with the far slash, man. Always on point with it. Unfortunately, gets clipped by the Beyblade. It is corner pressure time for you, RX. What are you gonna do? Okay, good stuff from RX. Goes for an empty grab. Okay, this time around, empty uh, 2k catches the mag dash. Gonna get the wall break. Atemu does have a burst. Oh, gets played by the 4S while attempting to use the Beyblade. Okay, Atemu just have one more chance. One more life, one more chance to get something going. RX try. Oh, okay, and RX going for the quick dust for the kill. Good stuff. RX up 2-1, to one, man. It looks so one-sided during the first match, but RX already adapting and showing what a true Testament Master can do. That being said, Atemu is definitely not out of this yet. Okay, RX forced to pop the burst. Good lord, here we go, the Arbiter. Get one home. Okay, RX using the TP2 switch sides again with the Arbiter. Atemu not on point with the Arbiter, uh, the Arbiter block. Definitely not, not uh, expecting it, I think. Very good. Uh, again with the Arbiter, man. RX harassing Atemu with the Arbiter. 
I didn't get the juggle this one, unfortunately. For RX. Arbiter and no Orbiter. Oh lord, and nothing but being stationary. Invites RX to press a button and immediately resorts to using the Beyblade to catch him pressing buttons and get a clean wall break. Yars with the forward BRC gets clipped by the 4HS and loses this round in the process. Definitely not over for any of these players. Yarx goes for the jump in. We'll go with the Arbiter. I'll be right back, guys, by the way. Oh lord, and the counter overdrive to counter the overdrive attempt from RX from Atema, man, this is crazy! And this is death for RX, and we're going on to the final match of this. It, oh lord, this is crazy. What is gonna happen? What is gonna happen? Good lord. We're going to Shizuriyuki right off the bat. And RX finds the opening, invites Atema to gold burst and gets hit in the process. Oh good lord, and not even gonna get the wall break. And yes, Atemu man, trying to close the gap. Successfully does so. Uh, and RX using the TP to catch him off guard. Trying to get that kill so bad. So bad. And Oryx getting the kill with the... Oh, actually, no! He's gonna get the wall break, though. That goes for the double arbiter for the kill! Good stuff! Here we go with the double arbiter yet again. This time around, Atemu is on the verge of taking this one as well. Are we going down to the final round, guys? Of the final match? And it seems as though we are! <laughs> Good lord, man. Both opponents not letting up at all. And here we go with the jump in by RX trying to push Atemu in the corner. Atemu with the tick pressure, man. Ah, forced back in the corner, gets hit by the Arbiter for the kill. This is so unfortunate. But this is so like, oh lord, like RX has been used.
Okay, sorry for the wait. Okay, let's see. So, uh, TNT Steven actually resorting to using chip this time around and not Sol. Currently in the, uh, currently in the lead, and this time around Roy Sol deciding not to use Bridget but actually using Sol. So yeah, this is uh, an actually a very very interesting matchup. I was not expecting both decisions from these both players to play this specific character. That being said, uh, Steven is currently in the lead with Chip. Ah, he's gonna get the wall break and the kill! Good stuff from Steven. Up one round and one uh, match. So on to the second round of this match. He gets the 2k2d. Russell has to hold this. Ah, tries to get out of the corner. Oh, good lord! Yo, Yuki, welcome to the uh, tournament. <laughs> Well, to the stream, that is. And here we go, oh, Lord! And Royce will force to pop the burst. This time around has Steven in the corner. Steven finds the way out of the corner with the great mobility of Chip. He gets the hit, oh, Lord! Yeah, this is really, really stacked, man. There we go, it's Steven gets a D wall break with the overdrive. Gonna get the jump in. So, ah, wants to put, push Royce all ever so slightly in the corner. That is really, really stacked, man. Today is. Out of the ordinary, man. And Steven getting uh, the second match as well. Definitely strong chip player as well. Wasn't expecting it at all. And on to the third round. Uh, the third match, actually. Let's see how this pans out. Yeah, Roy, you need to do better. Roy, come buddy. It is a pretty interesting title, right? A lot of very strong players indeed. How are you doing, Tiger Pop? And here we go with... Oh, no! That freaking poke from Steven! Immediately goes to the overdrive. Gonna get the outro toy. Come on! Go with this just... Oh, the Lord! The same jump into the overhead, into the RC, into the kill. For a perfect TNT, Steven definitely on point. Who said that he only played Sol? I was the one to say it. And I was wrong. <laughs> here we go with the Gamma Blade. Royal forced to pop the... Per uh, to pop the DP. Still gets hit by the far S. Here we go, the Alpha Blade for the wall break. Oh, good lord! And again with Steven using the far S immediately. Oh, good lord. Converts into the overdrive again with the positive bonus D save jump. And Yoki's a May. Oh, lord. That has been the bane of Roy, man. The far S, man. Good stuff from RX Rocking Testament as always versus Moogie uh, well I thought he gave me the impression he was going to switch permanently to Leo but recently he has been uh, playing with Naguriyuki once more so I think it's safe to say that he's probably gonna stick with uh, Naguriyuki for the reminder of uh, the uh, at least this season I suppose thank you Lady Scrap for the raid much appreciated and here we go, the forest into the Arbiter by RX. I gets jumped in by Moogie. This is unfortunate. Forest to pop the burst immediately. Resorts to using the Arbiter. Here we go with RX with uh, the zoning. Moogie not quick to press any button when he jumps. Just in case he gets uh, 6 speed by RX. Very nice. Ah, uh, 6 H. Oh, almost got the juggle for the kill, but it's okay. As the 4S does uh, the trick for Moogie. Gets the first round. 
And on to the second round. We go with the oh Lord the Beyblade. We go the 2K2 D or he's trying to get out of the corner, get the 4S counter hit confirming to Arbiter. Here he's as the stain state. Okay, Mugi still content to just blocking. Very nice backdash right there. Takes the momentum back. Oh, he uses Fukio to catch it backdash into the grab. Here we go with Mugi with the extension combo using the RC. Will get the wall break. Good lord. And RX again, man, with the Arbiter. Gets the juggle. Oh, but no drop, so this is so unfortunate. Okay, here we go. RX has got the corner positioning. He's got the... Oh! He got the bait of the golden burst. Good stuff from RX. Brings it back, man. That was crazy good. That was crazy good, right? Thanks again for the raid, lady. Much appreciated. Oh, good lord. Here we go with Boogie. Forcing RX to pop the burst. Good the close slash for RHS. Oh, the 2S counter uh, with punish. He's got the Beyblade counter hit into immediately using the overdrive for the wall break into the hard knockdown. Oh, good lord. RX health ending, uh, hanging by a thread. That being said, he does have Moogie in the corner. It's definitely not impossible for him to make a comeback. He's got the stain state. Here we go with the Arbiter. Moogie content to just block. Moogie wants, yeah. Here we go, Moogie going for the grab. For the kill. And Moogie up. Actually, I think Moogie is up 1... 2-0, to zero, actually, I think. Was that the first? That Was that the first uh, game? No, I don't think so, actually. I think this is 2-0 uh, two to, two to, uh, nil for, for Moogie. Ah, 1-0, okay, okay. My brain is going a little bit too too quickly. <laughs> or not quickly enough, I do not know. That being said, Rigo with Moogie and the take pressure in the corner. That is gonna get the kill. That was a very, very quick. Intention. But yeah, I know, right? It feels like it, it, there's at least have been like two matches up until now. That's so strange. That being said, Rigo with RX first pop the burst goes for the Arbiter. Oh! Moogie on point with his block, though. Not gonna lie. Here we go, the Arbiter again. He gets the grab. Oh no, that was an unfortunate burst for uh, Moogie once again. He's gonna get super Arbitered out of here. <laughs> what is going to be the mix? Okay, that was a very late jump in from Oryx. I do not really know what happened, but Moogie takes this opportunity to get a very cheeky <laughs> command grab in. Okay, here we go with uh, the pressure in the corner. Oh no, oh, it did! <laughs> Okay, Rx tried to go for an empty grab, unfortunately he uses the Arbiter, but Boogie was already way too close for him to be able to recover uh, safely from it. And, but Rx still manages to take it. Okay, we are on uh, match point. Just this match, not the set. Okay, Moogie with uh, the offense in the corner. Good lord, here we go to 2S. Rx. Uh, afraid to press a button, but he manages to take get out of the corner, but it's... Whoa, no! And that air grab read! Ah, this is bad for me, though. This can go downhill very quick. Especially... Oh, Lord! Oh, no! That backdash! That backdash was so good for me. That was so sick. How did he know he needed to backdash there? That was so sick. Okay, anyways. Yeah, here we go, the Arbiter. Oh, Lord! Ah, uh, yeah. Now, uh, Moogie has to deal with the freaking zoning pressure of RX, man. That goes for the... <laughs> that that cross-up was sick. What the hell? What is going on? <laughs> what is going on? Moogie using every single resource in the book to try to pin Rx down. Moogie jumping like a grasshopper, man. It's so crazy. I've rarely seen a Nagori Yuki with so much mobility. Oh, here we go. The Arbiter and Moogie on point with the uh, the blocks. He definitely wants this. He wants this. Oh, and he gets a kill with the jump. HS, man. You hate to see it, Rx. He did so much effort up until now and still managed to get to, to lose this match. It's so unfortunate for him. That being said, Mugi is still up uh, two to zero. Arik still has the opportunity to make a comeback. He just needs, you know, he just needs to get his groove going. And it's definitely not out of the, the realm of possibility for Arik to actually make a comeback. We shall see. Here we go, Arik with a quick, uh, a quick burst right there. Good lord! Oh, good lord! Oh, here we go with Arik finds the opening with the. 
2K2. The uh, gets the grab. Oh no, couldn't quite get the extension combo right there. Oh, and Mugi recognizing that this wasn't a safe combo. This was fake. <laughs> oh, Mugi almost got the. Oh lord, almost got the uh, the shimmy right here. And again, Mugi with the abare, but not the recognition. Actually, I would just say this wasn't an abare. That was an entire recognition. Gets the fully charged 2D. Uh, into dust into the uh, wall splat into kill. Good stuff from Mugi. He is on set point. Oh, catches the back dash with the Beyblade. Immediately cancels into the DP. Gonna get the wall break. Good lord, RX. What are you gonna do? A uh, Beyblade. Grab from RX. Get the side switch. This is the moment for RX to shine. Gets the low. Couldn't quite uh, confirm with the juggle. Goes for the Arbiter, but Mugi on point with the. Ah, oh, lord. The momentum shift recognition. Arbiter yet again. Oh lord, this is perfect for RX. <laughs> it goes immediately for the 6 HS into the Nazdrovia. This is gonna do a lot of damage. Not enough to kill, unfortunately, but Mugi is one hit away from dying. Oh lord, no! You can go! Are you serious? Are you serious? Versus Ataman. This time around, Nikoji uh, rocking his own. Uh, his own. Don't know on who I shall bet. Yeah, I cannot give you any any peace of mind because this can really go both ways. Actually, I really don't know which one uh, what is gonna happen to what. Uh, so wait one second. What do we do? We can find. Okay, we're good. Good lord, here we go. The Potemkin Buster, man. It always comes once uh, when you don't expect it at all. Okay, here we go with the wall break and immediately all right. Already, man. Because you're taking the lead. Here we go with the slider head. Here we go with the Potemkin Bastard from Nikoji and Nikoji trying to keep. Ah, they were in the corner using the. Oh my lord. Using the super armor from the uh, slider head, not the slider head, but from the um, I keep forgetting the uh, the, the name, but it, and immediately the Romans cancel into the command grab. But that being said, Atemu, yeah, doing a good job to try to not get uh, hit by it, but again, but it gets hit by the hammer fall. And Nikoji going for the low for the kill, good stuff from Nikoji, takes the first match very convincingly. Potem can bust up! Exactly, we love to see it. And yeah, Nikoji doing a good job of using the super armor of the uh, of the uh, hammer fall in order to, um, to absorb one hit and then roaming cancel immediately grabbing his opponent. Here we go, the Garuda impact, yeah, Atemu has to hold it, ah, gets hit by the, gets hit by the, the charge hit. The shoulder hit. And again with the... Uh, again, man. The hammer fall, man. Doing a lot of damn mileage. Giving a lot of mileage to Nikoji, man. Good stuff. Here we go with the low from Nikoji. Nikoji definitely in good shape today. Not gonna lie. Here we go with the Garuda impact again. Gets the hit again. Was the slider hit? Nope. Okay, Atemu. Bringing the heat. Oh, no. Tries to go for a command grab and gets command grab himself. Good lord, and here we go with Nokojido getting the side switch. This is gonna kill. Yeah. Oh, or not. Hello, Guts, my old friend. And <laughs> Nokojido going for the hammer fall right at the start of it. Again with the hammer fall and goes for the low for the kill. Good lord, and Nokojido already up 2 to 0, man. This is going so freaking quick. What is going on? What is going on? Here we go with the 2D, man. Good lord. Here we go with the Garuda Impact! No, oh, Lord! No. Atomum finally getting that uh, sweet, sweet HS counter hit. Gets hit by the back uh, Mega Fist, though. Uh, Atomum trying to get that freaking. Ah, uh, that wall break. And gets hit again by the Hammer Fall, man. You can feel that Atomum definitely doesn't like it. Finds a hit with the Fart K, but doesn't believe in the, the punish. Oh, uh, gets hit by the Garuda Impact! Again, the Garuda Impact. Again, the Garuda Impact. Gets it by the flick. And this should be it. Ah, oh, good lord, man. The pressure of, of freaking Nikozito, man. This man. And already set point. 
Iru with the grab. Ah, uh, Nikos Iru with the Garuda Impact doesn't want him to get... Uh, doesn't want to let him get the grab. Are you serious? How? Good lord. Good lord. And the 6P counter. That was sick. Ah, uh, he wanted that freaking burst so much, man. And just like this, Nikos Iru gets it. actually managed to send... Uh, so, in his previous participation to Brojo Cups, he actually managed to send Dark Necro. Dark Necro, you know? In the losers. So yeah, he actually ended up winning set tournament as well. So yeah, no, definitely strong Jaco player. Let's see how this pans out. I had the pleasure to play against him as well. He is extremely, very, very, very freaking strong. Being said, he got entired right there by Nage. Oh, again, got entired. And Nage uh, getting that corner positioning. He is going to get the afro. Command grab. Alright, now entire surge right there. Has to get uh, has to be careful with the overhead gets. Once again, uh, command grab. Oh no, and I get with the oh the burst bait. Uh, and he also got the overhead right there while he jump in with the, the syringe. Good stuff from Nage. Very strong first round, not gonna lie. Okay, here we go with the oh the dive kick. And are now trying to push Nage in the corner ever so slightly, but Nage doing a good job from not being forced to play this game. Ah, unfortunately for Nage, his backdash got hit by Aranea's uh, standing closest, I do believe. Very nice air grab by Aranea. Okay, got the corner positioning, got what? Yeah, oh lord, almost got the juggle for the kill. That being said, Nage is one hit away from dying, literally. Oh lord, here we go with Nage and the dive kick. Got the counter hit, the side switch. He's got the corner positioning this time around. Oh, and he's gonna get the trumpet. Yeah, forcing Aranea. Oh, on the floor, but Arnia did have one. Uh, one. Oh, Lord, no. Okay, did she? Almost got the jungle, by the way. Oh, this is crazy. Oh, okay, out of the corner. Arnia has one more chance. Damn. Oh, here we go, the jump in. Ah, uh, you can see Arnia tried to bait the burst. Because, oh, and he got the kill with uh, the minion on the... He got the chip kill with the minion. Good stuff from Arnia. That was really, really tight, not gonna lie. Here we go with the jump in from Aranea. Got the 2k. 2k counter hit. Uh, oh, look! Nice Abari. From, nice challenge from Aranea. Gonna get the double standing K. Uh, the double standing HS into uh, the Elysian driver for maximum damage. Look at the damage, bro. Wow. Aranea on the verge of taking the first match, actually. Okay, now you're forced to pop the YRC. Ah, we got the knockdown. Oh, wow. Oh, and Nage, man, with the snipes, preventing Aranea from doing anything, from uh, from sending uh, their minion in <laughs> in the stratosphere. So here we go, the, oh, the double hammer, man. Oh, you hate to see it. Uh, Nage falling on his own banana. Oh, no, he's got the burst, and Nage with the comeback. Holy freaking lord. Nage with the comeback. That was sick. That was so sick. <laughs> How is it even possible? This was crazy, man. That was really, really sick. I'm not gonna lie, man. Ah, that comeback was crazy. Ah, that, well, he's not the Faust God for nothing. Good lord, that comeback was crazy, man. Okay, and here we go with the command grab from Nage. Okay, he's going for... Oh, force the pop... Uh, force Arena to pop the burst. Here we go with the 2D. Arena uh, trying to uh, bait that burst. But yeah, Nagi holding strong. Got the opening with D2D D counter hit. He's got the weight. Oh lord! Arena finding the opening with the 6 speed. Junior? <laughs> okay, Arena forcing Nagi to pop the burst. Uh, to pop the YRC. And Nagi on point with. with the, uh, the minion kill. That being said, Arena using the minion to entire. Nugget was also pretty sick. Okay, here we go with... Oh, Lord! With Nagi and the minion of his own. <laughs> yeah, Nagi not letting Arena put a single minion on the, the, the stage, man. It's crazy. This is a no minion zone. Okay, one more hit for Nagi, and he got it. With the OTG, good stuff from Nagi. And on to the next battle. Second round of the second match. 
Nagi currently in the lead. Ah, get the anti-air with the syringe. Very nice back dash from Arinia. Uses uh, this momentum to side switch with Nagi and put Nagi in the corner. Nagi tried to use the invincible frames of the overdrive in order to... Uh, to... Oh, look! And the air-to-air -air grab from Arania. Good stuff. Definitely wants this, this round. You can feel it. Wow! And Nagi just jumping out casually. Oh, oh lord. The bomb getting rid of both minions at once. Nagi refuses to give a single round to. Arania, he got the spear with the golf club. Oh no, and yes, the overhead, the the, uh, the cross of mix, 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 that was sick, man, Nagi on point. Nagi definitely on point, definitely not letting up. That was crazy, man. Oh yeah, Nagi is a crazy, man. Holy freaking lord. Okay, here we go, the jump in from Arania. It's crazy, yeah, he's always like, so you'll see the show. He's always like down in deficit, he's always in a... Uh, uh, yeah, like uh, in a bad situation health-wise all the time, always manages to get the comeback. It's crazy. Yeah, this is just a, like the mark of a very, very patient player, man. Ah, and Arena trying to make use of the, uh, yeah, of the minions to make their way on, uh, to, to the, uh, the trumpet, but... Oh, Lord, and Nagi just popping the overdrive. Oh, you hate to see it. Oh, and he goes for the extension station for the kill. Good stuff from Nage. And Nage just like this on set point. That went so quick. I didn't expect it to be so quick, seriously. Good look. Ar Arania is an extremely strong player, by the way. Please do not, like, judge his uh, his performance from this match alone. He's an extremely strong Jackal player, but Nage is just, like, he's just reading everything, man. He's not giving a single inch to Arania. Going for the side switch using the Meteor. Yeah, Nagi is definitely not gay. Definitely is definitely not gay. But I mean, like, Arania, I, I'm gonna say it, but Arania 3 0 Dark Negro previously. So that's just to say that he's a very, very strong player. In a tournament setting, 3 0 Dark Negro is like, it's like very, very fucking hard, you know? But, like, oh my lord, like, Nagi is just. Okay, that being so, okay, Arania definitely back in that. He gets the cross up, goes immediately for the overdrive, and he's gonna get the kill. Nagi had to beat a Jackal to get into top 8. Yeah, yeah, he did, he did. Fair enough, fair enough. You're right, you're right. Okay, and here we go with... Ave... Okay, here we go with Nagi trying to get that wall pressure. Unfortunately, get pressured from his own. He is saved by his uh, own mini-me. Uh... Okay, Aranya yeah, trying to uh, put... Yeah, even... As low as one, as one minion on the screen, but yeah, Nagi on point with everything, just preventing him from doing so. He goes for the side switch using the Scarecrow attack again. Ah, oh, catches the back dash with the spear. Where's the Scarecrow? Oh lord, and what are you supposed to do? Nagi all over the place, there's three of them at all times. Almost got the kill. And Nagi just wide, he gets a freaking air grab. She didn't let Arani a single inch, man. I mean, brisket against pot, it, it does make sense a lot, you know? Instant replay. <laughs> exactly, yeah. <laughs> the instant replay. But uh, did the instant replay, uh, like, uh, mess up or something? Did it play correctly? I hope it did. I, I I didn't pay attention to it at all, so hopefully it did play correctly. Okay, that being said, here we go with uh, the, uh, this other match that we are about to see is gonna be Roy against Neko Zero. Roy rocking brisket this time around. And rightfully so, because as you probably already know, Brisket is definitely not a favorable matchup for Potemkin. Not that Potemkin have, has that many uh, favorable matchups, but uh, honestly speaking, I do believe that probably Brisket is way harder for Potemkin to deal uh, than Saul. So this is probably the reason why Roy decided to uh, resort to using Brisket instead of, of uh, Saul. That being said, here we go with Nekoji immediately. It did, I wanted to uh, pog right as it came out, but could not find him. Oh, no problem, no problem. <laughs> he can't keep getting away with this! Yes, he can. Of course he can. Why wouldn't he? And here we go with the Mega Fist. Uh, yeah, Roy Soul, man, trying to get that way in, but really, Nikoji is being so slippery with uh, with Pot right now. Uh, here we go with the... Oh, the knockdown! Roy just needs one opening, but that being said, 
Nico G just needs one hit. In the jump in. Oh, and that entire. Oh, he didn't get the juggle. You hate to see it. Good lord. Okay, Roy is in. Okay, force the. Okay, at least Roy got the, the burst from uh, from Nikojiro, which is definitely good for him. Ah, you were going to hammer ball for the kill. Good stuff from Nikojiro goes for the post Morton hit. <laughs> the disrespect. Yeah, Nikojiro loves to post Morton hit you. Don't take it personally. Okay, that being said, here we go with Roy getting the corner pressure. What? Now he got a side switch that he probably didn't want. Here we go, the slider head, but Roy Saul using the momentum of the uh, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle roll, if I might say. The, the turtle roll, I'm gonna call it. From Brisket in order to uh, leave the ground and not get hit by the slider head. Ah, here we go, that was an unfortunate slider head right there. Roy just just hitting right through the uh, armor of the slider head. We're in prime position to apply pressure, he's probably gonna take it here, unless Nikoji do uh, pops the burst, which he didn't do, which uh, I believe was the correct call. And here we go, already on final round. Ah, Royce ah, almost getting hit by the slider head. Okay, Royce uh, going ever so slightly, very, very calmly, doesn't want to overextend. He knows that because you is the one who has to make the efforts in order to uh, to break in, basically. That being said, yeah, Roy is still kind of already extending, the, extended here, and I uh, got punished a hell of a lot for it. Here you go, half, even more, 60% of your life is out of the drain already. Roy so with the resets right there. Oh lord! And good thing that Royce didn't commit to jumping or he would have been dead. <gasps> oh, that is a huge 2 HS counter hit. Unfortunately, Royal Soul it could it could Royal Roy Soul. It's so hard to say. And here we go with the air grab from Potemkin. Nico Zero for the first kill. First to blood! So it blows the uh the slider the it blows the slider head and it blows the uh the hammer fall. And also her overall like uh long reaching uh neutral buttons. Which blows away uh, Potemkins. I, I I would have thought that for these two reasons, that would be a bad matchup for Nikoji. Not to mention that she also has also has a DP, and she can like uh, throw them DPs right in you know the the frame traps of, of Potemkin, which can be very bad for him as well. So overall, I think that Bridget is probably a very bad matchup for Pot. I I believe I, I think. Uh, but it's not okay. It's probably it, it's probably bad, but it's it's probably. Not that bad, but it's probably better than Saul versus uh, versus Pot, in my opinion. That is, yeah, I think it depends if it's a Bridget main or not. Yeah, it definitely wasn't the case here, which is the reason why uh, Roy decided to s switch. Yeah, probably it can. Be, yeah, yeah. If you're if you're a Bridget main, I'm pretty sure you can eat Potemkins pretty easily, fairly easily. But right now, uh, Roy is probably subbing Bridget as of now. Pot loses. Well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Like, yeah, exactly. No, you're, you're totally right. Like, the, I think that the only matchup that Pot has that is for him in his favor is probably Angie, I guess. Probably, I'm not quite sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I can see what you mean. Here we go with the jump in from Roy. Finally finds the opening. Oh, the pressure. Got the shimmy. This is going to do a lot of damage. And Roy with the maximum. Well, not... So, oh no, he drops the freaking. That was definitely a tyrant rape. He goes for the low. Forces Nikoji to pop the burst. Ah, here we go. The immediate cancel into the revolver right after, uh, right after confirming that he was hitting the, the armor. Very nice awareness from Roy. Let's see if he can continue it. First round goes to him. Well, second round actually. Uh, yeah. So Roy definitely needs to take this one if he doesn't want to be at a huge deficit. But so far, so good. And here we go with Roy and the wall break. Madatarineka. And here we go with Roy going for the extension combo and this should do. Okay, well, nice. That was a good decision from Roy. Things are definitely looking as that they have gone for the worst for Nikozido. But we'll see. So far, so good. Exactly. <laughs> I like these types of puns. So far, so good. <laughs> Good lord. Anyways, here we go with Roy. Blocking Saul. Oh, Lord gets hit by the uh, Batch Mega Fist. Nikos, you out of the corner, which you definitely don't want him out of. Gets the, wall, the, the knockdown. Oh, no, that was an unfortunate trade. Not in favor of 
Nikozito. Oh, no, I guess it might even bring your counter hit. Oh, no! Okay, here we go. Nikozito has to hold it. Okay, catches the uh, revolver with the back Mega Fist. Hey, but Roy, ah, definitely on point. Gonna get the juggle. The wall break. Good stuff, good stuff. Let's see how this spins out. Oh lord, did you see? Did you see that run from Roy? That was sick! <laughs> Just running from one hit. He looked like a Kai player for like a couple of seconds, man. Okay, like Nikoji is gonna pop the other hammer fall. Yeah, I knew it, I knew it. I couldn't call it like uh, early enough, but. Ah! Okay, no grabs right there from Nikoji. Ah, uh, no, no! In the freeze from Nikoji! Knowing that Roy was gonna go for the instant overhead, right? Well, the instant overhead, the quick dust blocks it and immediately resor resorts to pot buster his uh, his opponent's ass, man. Very well done by Nikojiro. Yeah, 5D rip, man, exactly. That was unfortunate. But very nice awareness, though, from uh, from Nikojiro, man. Very nice quick reflex uh, to get the pot buster in. Here we go. Oh, Lord, an immediate pot buster once again. He's gonna get the side switch. Yes, he is. Look at the damage! Look at the damage, it's crazy! Okay, here we go. Ah, with the checks from Nico Zero. Wow, and he gets a pop buster once again, man! Nico Zero! Good lord, this man is a freaking pod god, man. This is crazy, man. What is Roy gonna do? What is Roy gonna do? What is he gonna do? Tell me, guys, what is he gonna do? This is crazy. Holy freaking lord. Here we go with the checks once again from Nico Zero. You shall not far S me. I refuse. And again with the checks, man. Because you're on point with the checks. Goes for Garuda, gets the knockdown. Oh lord, and wake up DP from Roy. Roy definitely getting a little bit angsty here, I can feel it. I feel it in the, my fingers. I can definitely feel it in, in his to toes, man. Uh, with Roy getting swept left and right, getting pot busted. Oh good lord, here we go with the, uh, with the, uh, the burst though from Nico Jiro. Uh, and here we go, finally Roy getting something going. He's gonna get the wall break. I still eat Hammerfall. Uh, oh, me too, me too. All the time. But Roy, finally, finally, here we go, get some, get some, some momentum back, man. How have I ever, no never noticed this flash of armpit in Souls? Oh, really? I actually never noticed it either. So I can, I, I, you're not, you're not to blame. Don't worry. Okay, anyways, here we go. Oh, good lord. No, oh, no, and you're going to Hammerfall yet again. Oh, good lord, and Nikozito gonna go up until set point, man. This is set point for Nikozito. Roy needs this one if he wants to stay in. Good lord. Oh, lord, no, that was an unfortunate grab. Cannon C. <laughs> oh, good lord. Ah, the double Garuda impact. Look at the damage. Ah, uh, yeah, and I accuse you to smelling blood, man. Smelling blood. Smelling blood. Smelling blood. Oh. Okay. Because you're trying to reflect uh, the gun flame from Roy. Roy finds the opening. Well, catches the back Mega Fist from Nikoji twice in a row. We go with the uh, hammer fall. Oh, no. Nikoji has got Roy right where he wants him. Right where he wants him. No. You ain't just yet. You're freaked. You're effed. Yes, you are effed. <laughs> Good stuff from Nikos, you think so cool. RX versus Nage. Definitely looking forward to this one. Thank you very much for the follow, by the way, Ark, uh, Arkin, and welcome to the bro, Joe. Okie dokie, RX versus Nage. Here we go, start of the round. As I have said, RX has a lot of, uh, a lot of experience against RF. So let's see how he can deal against Nage. We shall see. Very nice 6P right there from RX. Gonna get the corner positioning, but Nage with the bag dashes, man, to stop one hit and use this opportunity to side switch with the enemy using the grab. Then uh, on with uh, the zoning attempts from RX. Forces Nage to pop the burst. And go the Arbiter, a little bit too far to hit Nage. Good lord. Thank you very much for the follow, Enrage user, and welcome to the bro, Joes. Oh, Smoy, thanks for the raid, man. Much appreciated, my brother, as always. I hope you had a really, really nice stream, man. Hope you really did. 
And as always, uh, viewers from uh, Smoyville are always welcome here all the time. So welcome to the Brojo Cup. This is a weekly tournament which takes place in Japan starting 9 p.m. GST. We have a lot of uh, talents tonight. So I'm definitely looking forward uh, to you guys. Well, uh, I, you are more than welcome to stick around and see the rest of the tournament. We are currently in the losers bracket, uh, almost up until the losers semifinal. So the biggest match have really yet to come. You are more than uh, welcome to stay around, stick around, and uh, yeah, just hang out with us. And as always, Smoib's community is very, very welcome, much welcome. This is family here, so just feel at home. If you have any questions, don't hesitate. If you want to see the bracket, just uh, type exclamation points brackets in the chat and uh, you will have access to it. So anyways, welcome to everybody and uh, thank you very much for the follow, Gabe and KDL and just Malakai and welcome to the bro, Joes. And here we go with uh, the zoning from RX yet again. He wants to get Nage down, man, but Nage refuses to let RX do whatever he wants to do. Here we go with Nage again with the tank pressure. Oh no, unfortunately for him, the trumpet landed right on top of RX and that was a jail out of uh, the uh, get out of jail free card right there for RX. I believe the comeback out. Yeah, man, Nage has been making comebacks left and right, so it's definitely not of the realm of possibility for Nage to. Well, he's currently in the lead, by the way. But then again, RX is also very, very strong, so don't count him out. And here we go, Nage just. That was sick. That was sick. Yeah, Nage waiting for RX to throw that Arbiter right there. Uses. As soon as RX throw that Arbiter out, RX uses the uh, the teleportation of the Scarecrow in order to land right behind RX and punish him, him accordingly for the kill. That was masterfully uh, well executed plan right there from Nage. Just as I say this, he gets the spear into the golf club for very nice damages. Here we go again with the trumpet this time around RX. Well, this time again, RX manages to steal it from him. They stole it from her. <laughs> Okay, here we go with the 6HS again, Nage with the Scarecrow side switch, man, to corner RX. Oh, that shimmy was so, so, so sneaky. And here we go, RX health. Yeah, hanging by a thread again, man, with the freaking... That, that, or that Scarecrow is definitely, like, pestering RX so much. Uh, that is very, a very unfortunate start of round four, Nage, for RX, he gets the command grab. Alright, so here we go. Rx is on fire, but not in a good way. Uh, here we go. Very nice 6P, though, from Rx. Finally manages to get out of the corner, but Nagi not afraid to just run straight back at him and not let him a, a single sliver of momentum back. Nagi definitely very strong. Oh, and that oh, that confirm off of the 6 HS into the um, into the, the Nosdro. Yeah, very nicely done, Rx. And this is going to ward him with the kill, by the way. Good stuff. Thank you very much for the follow, Ruhaku. Welcome to the Brojo's. And on to the next battle. We are on uh, the uh, final round of this current match. Not the set, of course. Here we go, Nagi, trying to get that knockdown, that sweet knockdown, twice in a row. Gets hit by the standing P of RX. Ah, Nagi does have the meteor right there. Ah, gets the spear, man. And again, RX is getting hit by it. Again with the spear. Uh, and little Faust here to help his father. Oh, very nice use of the TP right there from RX. Gets out of harm's way, unfortunately gets hit by the uh, the teleport, not the teleport, the dive kick from uh, Nage. Again with the Scarecrow this time around, uses the aerial approach. Thank you very much, Rukaku, man. Welcome and make yourself at home. And here we go with oh, Nage getting the jump in. Good lord, is he gonna seal the deal again with a comeback? Oh good lord, no, he gets so oh, this Emerald Oryx on point with the air grab. Very nicely done. Oryx puts one on the board. This is a tie, ladies and gentlemen. Thankfully for Oryx, that would have that would have been like heartbroken, heartbreaking for Oryx. For so I'm kind of happy for him, not gonna lie. And the more matches we have, the better it is. <laughs> Anyways, here we go. Back to the match. Oryx getting that forest, man. Okay, lands the Karasu for the stained state. Because yes, for information, Karasu, well, most of you guys like, I suppose, enemies in manga and whatnot, so you probably already know what Karasu means, but just for information, Karasu means crow. So if you hear me say 
he throw the karasu his way, this means that he throw the throw. The crow. Okay. Just for information. Anyways, we're going with the command grab from Nage. He's gonna get the wall break and the kill. Yes, he will. Good stuff from Nage, man. Nage on the verge of getting two to one right now. We shall see. Okay, here we go with the 2k2d. Nage pushing RX ever so slightly in the corner. And Aris gets hit by the meteor from Nage. Uh, Aris out of the corner, finally gets uh, thrown right back in. Uh, yeah. Oh, he's still back in neutral. Very nice Arbiter right there from Aris to punish the recovery from Nage. Gets the knockdown. Can get the juggle, but does get the uh, safe jump. Here we go, the stained state. And oh, good lord, that was so cheeky, man. Good stuff. Uh, without the S, Rapidos. You have to do just brackets, not brackets. And here we go with the spear from Nage. Rx manages to block it. Okay. Rx finally gets the knockdown. Goes for the safe jump. Wow. Oh, no! Nage throwing his head left and right. Does a good job of hitting Rx with it. Okay, here we go with it. It's okay. No worries. Rapidos. And here we go. I'll write it for you. No worries. Uh, bracket? Oh, okay, you got it. Okay, you got it. Okay. okay. Oh, no, that was an unfortunate wire C, man. Just like this. Nage's gonna take it, man. Oh, and the explosion actually took it for him. Oh, sick. Good stuff from Nage. Up. 2 to 1. Rx, what are you gonna do, Rx? What are you gonna do, Rx? Rx on the verge of getting eliminated. That would be really, really unfortunate for him. Let's see how this fans out. Oh, Lord, and that trade in favor of uh, Nage. Already secured the burst from Rx. Very nice confirm right there from Rx. Using the force slash confirm into the Arbiter. What the hell was that wake up command grab from Nage? Are you serious? I probably using the fact that the little Faust was on the screen probably thought that Rx was going to be shy to attack him on wake up and that's the reason why he resorted to using wake up uh, to using the, the wake up command grab I suppose, probably. Anyways, here we go. We are on set point from Nage. That was crazy, man. That was so crazy. That was sick. That was sick. Okay, here we go. The mix, mix, mix. Nage out of harm's way. Okay, Nage trying to secure that knockdown so bad. Ah, Arx on the verge of getting. Yeah, negative penalty. Ah, and here we go. The closest counter hit, man. This is going to do a lot of damage. Arx on point with the confirmed. We'll go directly with the Nasdrovia into Stain State, into positive bonus, into uh, into Okizeme. Okay, still Arx this time. Goes for the Arbiter. Tries to get the ah, uh, get, tries to get the everywhere, but yeah, Nage just said hit. Hey, nope, you're not jumping that far. Oh Lord, you're the Arbiter. Almost got clipped by the bomb. Tried to get Nage's burst, but Nage being reasonable this time around, not doing a hero burst. <laughs> Okay, here we go on to uh, still set point for Nage. Nage definitely fishing, literally fishing right there with the spear. Very nice XP from our eggs. Gonna get the ah, the jump in. Nage just running to get out of the corner uh, and using the scarecrow to secure the the cavalry. Man, good stuff from Nage. Okay, backdashing one B too many times this time around, but still gets the. Dive kick into the uh, command grab. Very nicely done, Mainage. Ah, forces the burst on RX. Karax does not have a burst anymore. Things are looking a little bit bleak right now. <gasps> oh, but that jump was godlike. Oh, Lord, get six feet. Is Nagi gonna pop the burst? I think he is. Yes, he is. Here we go, the Arbiter. Yeah, RX really desperately needs this one if he wants to stay alive. Oh, no, no, that was, yeah, overextension station from Nage-sama, man. This is unfortunate for him. But Rx does manage to put one more on the board. This is perfect tie, perfect equilibrium, if I might say. So let's see who is going to take it in the end. Nage, unfortunately, overextended with that grab attempt. Rx definitely reading it correctly, backdashing and punishing it accordingly for the kill. And just like this, we are on... The last match of this set. Who is going to take it? Nage definitely uh, getting a run for his money, man. Definitely. Good lord. I need to go with the command grab from Nage. Now RF has to hold it. He's on fire. Not in a good way. And again, man, with the command grab. You hate to see it. 
Oh, good lord, yeah, and Ari's just snap yeah, popping the, the super. Yeah, don't do a hero, but no! Oh, that was so unfortunate, that was so unfortunate! What happened here? That is such an unfortunate error from. Oh, but still. Nage manages to get the grab from a mistimed mini from Oryx, I believe. Good lord. Yeah, that, you, you see, it was so strange. I think Oryx was too close to the ground when uh, Nage decided to cancel into the overhead. And uh, since the over uh, the, the overhead, the overdrive, and since the uh, the Super Faust is, it has a lot of a startup, it, uh, Oryx uh, touched the ground before the Super uh, managed to hit him. This is unfortunate. So you can grab a super- no, no, you can't, you can't. Uh, he was, uh, already- like, Oryx was already on the ground and in recovery mode when, uh, when the active frames of Nage's overdrive tried to hit him. So basically, uh, Nage just hit the air, and, uh, he was in recovery when Oryx- Another Dan! TNT Steven versus Mugi. So TNT Steven this time around resorting to using Chip against Mugi. Probably the reason being that, uh, Chip is- <laughs> <laughs> Very annoying to deal with when uh, you're playing Nagoyuki, I think? In my opinion, I'm not quite sure. Uh, pretty much, I, I, I suspect that the uh, the um, Western... Uh, cons oh lord! The double burst! <laughs> double gold burst, man! What was that? That was so strange! Anyways, here we go, and immediately Mugi getting the kill with the 6 HS. That was so strange! What the hell happened? Double burst, golden burst, man. What the hell? Anyways, it well, it worked out for Moogie, but yeah, TNT Steven unfortunately get clipped by D6P right there. Good lord! Here we go with the jump in from Moogie gets the cross up. That was an unfortunate burst. But yeah, I I, I think that like the West would tend to think. Uh, uh, what what is the opinion of the West regarding like the Nagoyuki versus Chip matchup? Because in Japan, I can tell you that Chip versus Nagoyuki is well, people tend to uh, agree that it's in favor of Chip. So I don't know what uh, what is the consensus for uh, for for like America or Europe or you know other countries. That being said, Mugi already man up one to zero, and uh, TNT Steven sticking to his guns, uh, sticking to his uh, chip, not resorting to using salt. We shall see how this pans out. Very nice six speed. Ah, I guess clipped by the Beyblade. Unfortunately, even manages to get the side sweep. Good stuff from Mugi. Oh, here we go to far S man and TNT Steven getting the conversion station. Even manages to get uh, to get Mugi to take a throw that was non-existent, unfortunately, right here. <laughs> yeah, Steven is gonna get hit by the over wake up overdrive from Mugi. Here we go, boom! Lots of life already gone. Chip 5.52. Oh, okay, okay, that that yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. I agree with this. And here we go with uh, Steven getting the kill, maybe? No, he doesn't because guts and because the damage of this <laughs> super is rubbish. Okay, anyways, here we go with, yeah. I wouldn't call it infinite pressure from Chip once he has, like, two bars and the positive bonus in the corner. Uh, but it's pretty much close to it. <laughs> and here we go with Mugi. Already on the start of the round, drawing first blood. He gets unfortunately landed on by Steven. Here we go with the Gamma Blade, pushes the opponent in the corner. Marvelous says Nago wins. Okay. Okay, fair enough. But I think, but he's a hell of a Chip down player, yeah. <laughs> Well, I'm not, I don't know to do, so I'm not gonna say anything. But, uh, but, uh, well, in my opinion, uh, like, and I, I'm pretty certain that like the Japanese scene tend to see Chip as, uh, as in favor in this particular matchup. But then again, I don't play either character, so I'm, you know, my, my word doesn't mean anything. But that being said, here we go with Mugi Man again with the grab on his way down, and oh. Okay. And uh, one round apiece, the one who takes it, yeah, Steven definitely needs to take this one if he doesn't want to be in a very, very unfortunate uh, situation. Ah, Lord, and the closest from Mugi catches the back dash from Steven. Steven being very respectful, and just as I say this, <laughs> just wakes up DP. <laughs> okay, Rugo, two, two HS, oh Lord, and the Abare from Steven, but no, and Mugi already back in it using the, uh, the, uh, the Beyblade. Almost got that air grab, by the way. Okay, oh good lord. Oh. <laughs> Best combo ever. <laughs> standing P, standing P, standing P. Dash, standing P, standing P, standing P. <laughs> good lord. Oh, good lord. Oh, and here we go with the air grab, man. Marvel, I, I actually don't know. I don't know. I'm uh, I'm not going to comment on, on that particular uh, uh, comment, actually. But yeah, I... Um, I'd say, me personally, my own opinion is that I think that Chip has the 
has the advantage in this matchup, but then again, I, I don't play either character, so my, my ward doesn't have any any real value to add to this uh, to this uh, to this argument. That being said, here we go with Steven getting the wall break. Kaboom! And here we go on. Oh Lord, almost got the bag dash from Moogie. Good Lord again, Steven with the wall break, man. Kaboom! Get out of here! Still not enough to get the kill. Steven definitely wanting to have this one. Yeah, his matchup sharp is pretty revelatory. I'd like to see a serial as well. That would be fun. And here we go with the uh, with the tech attempt punish from Steven right there. Gets the uh, round. That being said, Mogi with an incredible start of the round. Marvelous takes make Punk look intelligent. Oh, okay. This I do not want to believe though. <laughs> uh, speaking of which... Uh, Alumufi, thank you very much for the follow. That was pretty funny when um, both like Punk and uh, Damascus, they were saying like, yeah, yeah, Japan is definitely like uh, behind America, you know. Uh, they, they saw like the first match of Mochi like getting uh, getting like uh, completely dominated by Nubelheimer, and they were saying like, yeah, the Punk saying like, yeah, Japan sucks like compared is like last on the strife scene and everything, and Damascus saying, yeah, I'm pretty, I I agree and everything. <laughs> In the end, the top three not figuring a single American player in like third place French and the first and second being the J Japanese uh, Japanese place was really really that that was really 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 funny. It was so funny. <laughs> it was so freaking funny. Yeah, it's all best guy man, definitely man, definitely. But anyways, that being said, here we go with the corner pressure from Steven. Wow, and that bag that from Moogie man. The cojones on this man even tried to go for a command grab. But yeah, this time around, Steven going for the Abare. Saddest thing was making Gekuma dog happy. Yeah, yeah, I believe too. I, I agree, I agree. I wasn't too happy about this. Because I honestly know, I, I'm in Japan and I do, I'm quite aware of like the Japanese uh, potential and the Japanese scene's uh, strength. But I honestly believe that North America is very, very, very strong. I really think they have a very strong scene. And it's not. Uh, the, I, I either think that Japan and North America are uh, equal, like when it comes to level size and like performance size, or Japan is like slightly stronger, but really slightly. So I really think that North America, when they say that America is actually very strong, I, I do believe they are. I don't think they're garbage at all. I really think that North America is like the first or second strongest region for the strife scene, but it's just like recent like America uh, Japanese efforts on the game have been crazy. You can see, you see Mochi, you see like TY playing, they play like completely crazy, you know? And uh, yeah, also Umisho got like, yeah, I don't, I don't think like Umisho got like the, he de definitely didn't get the, the best bracket and he didn't even get to play any Japanese either. So yeah, I still want him to come in, in EVO and, uh, and really show what, uh, what, um, what Happy Chaos is capable of. But yeah, we'll, we'll get to see it eventually, I suppose. Uh, so, uh, the game is very competitive. Yeah, it is. It really is. Considering the only other esport I've watched in the past was League of Legends, New York, uh, North America is actually good at- Yeah, they are, they are. They definitely are. Umisho couldn't play- Yeah, that's the thing. That's the thing that I found so unfortunate is that Umisho couldn't play a single Japanese, uh, during the Arc Revo. So, at least I'm looking forward to her coming to, uh, EVO Japan and duking it out with, you know, Japanese players over here to really show what Happy Chaos is capable of doing. Because I don't believe that Happy Chaos is garbage at all, you know? If you look at Japanese, like, uh, what's it called? Opinions, they think that Happy Chaos is really not good, it's garbage and whatnot. I don't believe it's true. <laughs> you know, I, I do believe a lot of what Japanese, the Japanese scene is saying is true. Like, uh, especially their character placement. Like, for example, Ram. I don't think that Ram is as strong as what North America says uh, she is. And I do believe that uh, I, I'm more on par with what America, uh, with what Japan believes. For Chip, also, I do believe that Chip Sol are very strong player characters. But for Happy Chaos, uh, Japan tends to say that Happy Chaos is not very strong or it kind of sucks. And this, uh, I actually tend to agree with America, saying that like uh, Happy Chaos is very strong. I, I I totally agree with America on this only. Thank you very much for the follow, Kodak, and thank you very much for the follow, Clay Team. Welcome to the browser. I wanted to see Umi versus CY. Yeah, that would have been mad fun, man. They think he's dog shit. Yeah, I don't believe it though. And uh, this is weird, this Japanese perspective. Yeah, me too, man. It's so crazy. I don't understand how they cannot see how strong he is, you know? 
J Japan takes player results a lot more into close. So yeah, that's why I think yeah, when they see character representation, they really tend to believe that they really have like the best player of said character in mind when they uh, they they imagine like the the potential of a character. So that's a problem per se, I believe, of like the Japanese scene probably. That's probably the reason why they think that like Eno is very freaking strong as well. I think is that you know Darino is like dominating with Eno, and he's literally the only person playing Eno that's dominating everybody else. You know, so that's probably one of the reasons, I guess. But yeah, that being said, uh, here we go. We are actually on. Oh wow! And freaking, like, he's way stronger than what like most Zato players tend to like place him. I really think that like Zato. If played correctly, has zero like losing matchups in my opinion. Maybe Happy Chaos, I guess, but that would be the only one. I don't know, man. Yeah, Zato offense is so much like suffocating than uh, Happy Chaos offense in my opinion. Oh man, it's crazy. Thank you very much for the follow, my match. Welcome to the Brojos. He loses to Happy Chaos and Rem. Yeah, Rem also. I can definitely understand that he loses to her. Okay, that being said, I am uh, going back to commentating a bit. <laughs> I love talking to you guys, by the way, but yeah, I'm gonna commentate a bit if you don't mind. Okay, here we go on to the uh, loser semifinal. This is gonna be none other than Nage versus Nico Zero. So both players have been extremely consistent in their tournament run today. Both have been playing out of their freaking mind, by the way. And just as we see this, Nico Zero unfortunately forced to pop the burst. Unless he wanted to throw that round away. That being said, he found the opening right there and pushes Nage in the corner. Blocks the oh overdrive from Nage, but Nage going for the crossover. Makes mix mix for the kill. Manages to take the first round of this session. Also to May for more. Yeah, May is also very strong during this patch. I also believe it. And here we go with Nagi going for the mix, 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 man, pushing it. Oh, Lord, and catching. <laughs> Nikos, you're trying to, uh, to, uh, to, to make a fist his way out of the pressure, unfortunately for him. Here we go with Nagi, man. Oh, going for the dive kick. Unfortunately, Nikos, really on point of it. And here we go with uh, the corner pressure from uh, Nagi. He got the banana. He goes for the quick dust. Forces Nikos to pop the burst. And here we go with Nikos Yudu with, oh lord, Nage uh, popping URC. Here we go with the slider head yet again, yet again. Oh, and the big Mega Fist is going to do a lot of freaking damage. Oh, Nikos Yudu going for the, oh, the pot buster. But yeah, Nage reading it, jumping out of the, the pressure. But Nikos Yudu does have the corner pressure. You only need one hit. Oh, and he tried to snap him, but Nage was on point. She knew it. He was waiting for it, man. Nage the reaction. That was a reaction. Uh, he saw, he saw the the Garuda impact from from Nikozido. He saw immediately the blue uh, RC ring forming around Nikozido, and he knew that Nikozido was gonna go for a uh, for a grab. That was crazy, man. That was really crazy. Good stuff from Nage. Got the closest counter hit. Uh, Nikozido did manage to get the um, sliding head, but oh lord, here we go the six P. Nage has little fast on deck. What is it gonna be? Oh lord. Okay, no entire right there from Nage. He manages to get out of the pressure. Ah, uses the mix, mix, mix to go over the slider head. Shockwave. Oh, Lord. Ah, and here we go. Nikos, you're getting hit by the wave, man. You hate to see it. Thank you very much for the follow, Matcha Bowl Soup. And welcome to the Browdress. And here we go with the big freaking ball. That was huge freaking Garuda. In fact, this is going to do a lot of the damage. And just like this, Nikos, you takes the first, uh, the first, uh, the first, the first, the first round of the second match. Good lord, man. There you go with the 2S counter, and you hate to see it, but Nage does get the... Oh, the lord! Nikos, you're doing way too many Mega Fist, back Mega Fist in the corner, man. But that being said, it's still not over till so he does get the... Oh, he did get the knockdown. Oh, he's gonna get the jungle. This is gonna do a lot of damage. Look at the damage. Look at the damage. Look at the damage, man. Nage down 70% of his life already. He goes for the overhead. He wants to mix, mix, mix pressure to push the in the corner. That's what he wants. Manages to get the uh, the, the command grab. Ah, and he's going to get the juggle into the kill. This is the good stuff from Nage, man. This is clean stuff, man. This is really clean stuff from Nage. Going to get the wall break into the kill. Okay, on to the final round of this second match. Who is going to take it? Nikoji definitely needs to take it if he doesn't want to be in a precarious position. In a very disadvantageous position, he did get the cavalry right on top of Nage to force him on, uh, on the floor. 
Get your bodies to the floor, and here we go with the midi. Try to get the burst, but Nage not. Oh, this is bad. No, this is bad. Nice burst, Nage. <laughs> oh, good lord, in the flick for the kill. Using the wall break added damage, man. That was sick stuff from the Kozidu. Okay, we have a tie, ladies and gentlemen. One match apiece. Who is going to take it? We shall see. This is one a very, very hot match right there. Good lord. Oh, here we go to slider head. Good lord, it's second slider head. Oh, good lord. Here we go to take pressure, but Nico Zidu pops the golden burst. Good lord. Thank you very much for the sub, Gabin. Much appreciated. Oh, good lord. Darino san. And here we go with the Garuda impact. Ah, oh, Nagi has to hold it. Good lord. Good lord. What is gonna be the next? Oh. Here we go with Nikoji trying to get the air to air. Oh, that was a huge air to air for. Ah, uh, freaking Nikoji. Ah, uh, here we go. Oh, good lord. And Nagi on with the corner pressure, man. He definitely does not want Nikoji out of there. Here we go to hammer fall. Ah, uh, yeah, Nikoji was definitely fishing for YRC right there. Nagi did not deliver it to him. Good lord. Yeah, Daru Sensei, the pog, man. The MVP, man. Thank you very much, Daru. Much appreciated, man. I hope you had a very nice stream. And uh, definitely looking forward to your Eno progress. I will be I will be stream si sniping you and definitely looking at the text that you have been working on today. <laughs> Thank you very much, Daru san again. That being said, here we go with the slider head yet again. Nah, trying to pin, you know, Nagi on the ground, but not Nagi is so hard to pin down. He doesn't want to be pinned down. Oh lord, and that back dash! Oh, and he gets the kill with the 2 HS. Good stuff from Nikozito, man. Definitely holding on to every single one of his resources up until the very end. Good lord, here we go with the slider head. And Nagi, man, just looking at the situation, looking for the opportune moment to head in. And here we go with the... Ah, he found it. He's got the knockdown. He's got the trumpet. He's got the cavalry, he's got the weight. Oh lord, oh good lord, he's got the jungle, he's got little Faust and mix, 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 and he's got the wall break. Good stuff for Nage. Oh, okay, we go with that. Because you're going for the bottom kin buster, you hate to see it. Well, I love to see it personally. Again, here we go. No entire free. Because you do it. The mix, mix, mix to get the extension station. Okay, yeah. Nah, because you're trying to get out of the corner, but unfortunately gets. Grabbed by the uh, the by the command grab from Nage. Anyways, here we go on to the final round. This is a perfect tie right now. One round a piece or one match a piece. What is gonna be? Who is gonna be the winner of this round? The person who wins this round definitely is bound to be in a very nice position, in a very nice happy place. But that being said, we're going Nage going for the crossover using the mix 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 again. Well, oh, Lord, and you could see Nage, man. When, whenever he sees that he's hitting the slider head on the super armor, he immediately cancels the mix, mix, mix to go over the shockwave that the, the slider head actually produces. This is quick and sick reaction from Nage, man. Good stuff from him. Okay, and here we, here we go with the mix, mix, mix to prevent because you do it from trying to get that, uh, from getting the cavalry to help him. Here we go again with the slider head. Ah, this time around because he manages to get it. Oh, he gets the bottom kid buster just like this. Nikos, you know, up 2 to 0, 2 to 1, man. Oh, my lord, on the verge of taking it and sending Nage out of this tournament. Is he going to make the impossible? Is he going to be able to seal the deal? We shall see, man. Nikos, you on points, man. Always a treat to see him play. Hey, again, here we go. The very nice start of the round of Nage immediately uses uh, the golf club. Gets the knockdown. Gonna get the cavalry. Gonna get the air to air in the jungle. Gonna get the wall break, baby. Yes, you will. Good lord. That was sick, man. That was so sick. Put them Kim fighting. Uh, indeed. Okay, anyways, here we go back to the... Oh, again with the mix, mix, mix to go over the shockwave of the sliding head. Slider head. Oh, here we go with the take throw. Nikos, you're not on point with the take. And this should do. Good stuff from Nage. Immediately takes it back, man. You want to play like this? Let's play like this. <laughs> Good stuff from Nage. Takes it with a perfect. That is a very strong statement on his part. And on to the second match. Let's see how this spins out. Big hammer fall right there. Free him, Nikos. Oh, good lord. Oh, lord. Okay, Nikos, you failed to get the knockdown. We're back in the neutral, probably in the um, in favor of Nage. Well, El Faust in general, who has better far-reaching uh, tools than uh, than Potemkin has. We go with the hammer fall again when Nikos, you're trying to 
Uh, oh, too short in the distance between both of them. That being said, Nugget did manage to get the grab. Is he gonna go for the side switch using the... Oh, that was so cheeky! Delaying, man! Delaying the follow -up. No! And Nikoji dying with his burst! This is unfortunate. This is really unfortunate. Nikoji just dying on his... Dying on his birth, probably uh, afraid of uh, of getting burst baited, I suppose, on that particular instance. That was... Uh, yeah, that's better. <laughs> Yuki definitely <laughs> rooting for Nage. <laughs> Shamelessly. But it's okay. You know what? I, I, I like both players and I totally understand who would want to uh, to root for Nage. That being said, here we go, Nage. Nice start of the round, trying to push Nikoji ever so slightly in the corner. Gets the corner combo, forces Nikoji to pop the burst. Doesn't quite get the knockdown. Ah, uh, Nikoji's still aiming to get the slider head, but... Ooh, that was a huge, a huge Mega Fist right there, right on the nose of Niko of Nage. Again with the Mega Fist. That's it, both Pot and Faust got some peeps that really hate them. Yeah, I can understand. But I don't particularly like playing against Faust. I love playing against Pot and Kendo. That being said, here we go, and... Ah, uh, Nage getting the freaking conversion station for the wall break and the kill. And just like this, we are on set point, man. Set point in favor of Nage. Is Nikoji gonna be able to survive? Very nice block from... Oh, no! From Nikoji, you know, gets grabbed in the process. Though this is so unfortunate. Good lord, here we go with the jump in. Ah, uh, Nage gets the conversion, man. He gets the jungle forces Nikoji again to pop the burst. Okay, Nikos, you're in a very pre precarious situation right there. Does not have any sort of resource. A little bit of tension, but doesn't have the burst. Oh, Lord, he's gonna get the jungle. This is sick, man. How did he get this conversion, man? Nagi, the conversion master. This is crazy. Holy oh, freaking Lord. Oh, Lord, just like this, Nagi's gonna get the kill. <laughs> Good stuff from Nagi. Takes it a clean three. Back is what he was uh, uh, during like, launch date, I feel. But it's just my opinion. But then again, I, I like Nago currently, so it's okay. We're uh, insane, lol. Because I'm a because I'm a Saiyan. <laughs> that's all. I, that's all. There's no need for another explanation. Now it's just that uh, it's uh, how do you call it? It's a filter that I use through an application called uh, how do you call it? Snapcam, I think. Snap camera. And uh, basically, I linked this with uh, an application with a what's called a macro, a macro uh, like a Steam Deck type of. Or a device that uses macro and uh, I can uh, like activate this effect when somebody like follows me or subs to me or does some or uses channel points to redeem this so yeah it's uh, it's, a, it's a neat little feature I use to uh, put some entertainment in this uh, in this channel I hope that people like it that being said here we go first round goes to Mugi very nicely done Nage has a little bit of problems containing him here we go Mugi with the 2s counter hit Nicely done, and here we go with the wall break from Mugi. Okay, what is Nagi gonna do? Nagi has a little bit of problem trying to make his way in. Gonna go with the weight. He goes for the overhead. And Mugi with the double Fukio into the grab, man. That was really sick. Yo, Lord, here we go with Nagi throwing his head around. Getting a deep knockdown with the 2S. Good Lord. And here we go. Okay, Nage forced to pop the burst. Still had the cavalry to save himself from getting pummeled too much in the corner, but Mogi using the RC extension to get the juggle and get the kill. Mogi getting the first match quite convincingly. There's still the room ID on the screen. Oh, there is shit. Sorry, guys. My bad. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. I didn't notice. Thank you very much. Yeah, I kind of missed my macro right here. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Much appreciated. Okay, and here we go with uh, the second round. Good lord! Okay, oh, and Mugi getting hit by that big bomb right there. Oh, and Fukio right straight into the the spear from Nage's. Okay, here we go with Nage getting the command grab. Okay, gets the jump in. Okay, Mugi has to hold it. Okay, Nage going for the oh yeah, corner pressure. Is he gonna kill? No! Good lord, what was that? That was so strange. That was really hard to, to block, in my opinion. And he gets the kill with the dive kick very nicely. Okie dokie. Bloods and cookie. Here we go with the second round. Okay, nice grab right there from Nage. Gonna get the corner positioning. Here we go with the way that he tried to go for a command grab this time around. Mugi was on point. Okay, here we go with Nagi and the tick pressure. He's got the hammer. Okay, got the 2HS. Couldn't quite get the juggle follow-up, though. 
Oh, he's got the mix, mix, mix. Goes for the low, but Moogie's still on defense. Nagi not afraid to just, you know, back off, you know, especially when he sees that the opponent is very, is actually dead on, <laughs> not getting open at all. It's really, really, uh, very impressive. Okay, and here we go. Back to the neutral. Both opponents really going very, 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 very slowly at it. Don't want to overextend. That being said, Nagi in prime position to taking it right now. Ah, oh, Lord! I'm gonna get forced to pop the bird, to pop the wire. See, and here we go with the juggle. Nagi almost got the kill with the juggle. Here we go with the air to air, and he goes for the quick dance for the kill. Nicely done by Nagi. Takes the second match. Very, very, very convincing. And here we go with the epic song of the Fatalis from the Fatalis. I'm sorry. From Monster Hunter World, I love this uh, this BGM. Anyways, here we go back to the neutral. Okay, Nage trying to get the uh, side switch using the scarecrow. Here we go with the uh, the, the jump in from Mugi, and Nage getting a little fast uh, to help him. In. Okay, Mugi does have the uh, the cavalry, but Nage found a way to jump over it. Good lord! Here we go with the four HS counter hit and the follow up assist. 6 HS on the ground from Mugi for the kill. Very nicely done by Mugi. Currently in uh, in the lead. That being said, Nagi is definitely not one to just let up. Oh, okay, here we go with the quick dust. Good lord, ah, Nagi, man. Oh, God, Nagi getting exploded by his own by his own by his own bomb. Okay, back to the neutral. Both players going extremely slow, man. Yeah, the RNG is really good, man. <laughs> Look at him. Here we go. The, the hammer, the little Faust bomb, the weight. I swear to God, this game like favors favors Nage as a Faust player. It, it, I really feel like it. Like the RNG of Nage is out of this world. I don't know why. Maybe it's because the uh, Nage has a tendency to like throw items a lot more, I guess, than other than other uh, like Faust players. And here we go with Nagi going for the uh, cross up, mix, mix, mix for the kill. Who's waiting in grand final? Uh, Steven, TNT Steven. So, Saul or uh, Chip player. Luck is a skill. It is, man. Luck is part of strength, actually. Like Ryu said in Street Fighter. I think Ryu said it, I'm not quite sure. I think he said it, yeah. Sorry, that was my cat. <laughs> Chip boy, exactly. <laughs> oh, oh, you mean KM? No problem, Mystic, it's okay. I was wondering what you were trying to, to write. Kilometers or, or like something a little bit less like joyful, but <laughs> I was wondering what you were trying to write. Okay, sounds like something Ryu would say. Yeah, I know, right? I think Ryu said it. Yeah, luck is also part of strength or some stuff like this. I don't remember exactly. But that being said, Ryu and Nage going ham with the, the freaking the options, man. And Mugi just have to hold it. He doesn't have much, much more. Options to do in that particular instance. Oh lord, oh no, and Mugi getting killed by Little Faust. You hate to see it. Okay, Nagi taking the lead 2 to 1. How's this going to go? We shall see. <laughs> Yuki definitely cracking himself up, man. Uh, the RNG, man. The RNG is something else, man. It's definitely something else. Okay, on to the next battle. Let's we'll see how this spins out. Okay, Nage getting the take pressure, but gets it by the Beyblade, man. That did a huge amount of damage. Here we go with the Beyblade. Ah, the jump in from Mugi, but Nage was definitely on point. Uses the 2 HS2, get at least a trade, and here we go with the ping pong battle using the bomb. Mugi is definitely going to get the wall break, or not, actually. He's going to keep the corner positioning, and things are looking pretty bleak for Nage. Uses the Mix 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 to get the hell out of here. Here we go to jump in, but Nage on point with the standing K2 anti air man. This is the super. The super Naningaderu Kana. Uh. Oh, and here we go with the jumping, si uh, jumping HS right there from Mugi for the kill. Okay, Mugi still staying alive. He needs this one if he wants to stay in the tournament. To get another go at uh, Steven. Even Steven. Here we go, Naningaderu Kana. Banana. Yeah, oh lord, that's 6p though. That was sick. Good stuff from Mugi on point. Wow, oh, that was so long. It, it, it stayed active for so freaking long, it's crazy. Good stuff from Nage, gonna get the jump in. Okay, he got the... He got the wig on fire. Mugi's on fire. 
I guess it by the forest. It, it, we're going with Nagi going with the conversion station, man. We are on set point. I came back for the end. Yeah, man. You, you came at a good, a, good, a good time. That's the uh, loser's final. We still have the grand finals next. Okay, here we go with duct tape pressure and Moogie using the command grab. Here we go with the clone. Ah, not game, man. Ah, in the dire position, gets command grabbed himself. Here we go with the clone again. Okay, Moogie trying to open his opponent up, finds the opening, goes straight for the overdrive. This is gonna kill. Oh, what? Good lord! Good lord, that was sick! The, the match of knowledge! The knowledge from Moogie! That extension was sick. Nugi, Mugi knowing that uh, just using the uh, the overdrive itself would have not killed Nage and using the extension to get added damage and eventually get the kill. That was sick. That is going into the, I don't give a, I don't give a crap. I, this is going to the highlight, <laughs> into my highlight video. That was sick for Mugi. Good stuff for Mugi. Okay, now on to the next battle. This is the absolute last match of the loser's final man who is going to take it we shall see who wants it more we shall see here we go the side switch of the scarecrow good lord oh and the 4 is counter hit but Mugi cannot fook you in front because of the damn hammer damn hammer anyways here we go with Mugi got the cavalry tried to pin Nage down but here we go with the jumping demon that was sick is Mugi gonna get the kill he is he is! He definitely is. This is death. And here we go to the 2HS. Mugi on match point. With Nage rather keeping his burst for the next round in order uh, well, for in order to have a chance to bring it back. But here we go with Mugi, man. Uh, Mugi with closest. He gets the command grab. Nage in dire straits. Uh, Mugi tried to bait that, that burst, man. He tried to bait it. That's the reason why he backed Fukio. And here we go with the 6HS. Mugi on the verge of taking it. He's gonna take it with a quick death into the Roman cancel. Mugi takes it 3 to 2. Good lord, that was sick. Final is gonna be none other than TNT Steven versus Mugi. Who is going to take it? We shall see. This is sick. I'm really looking forward to this one. Let's see how this pans out. Ah, Nagi san, Lady State Taraki, I got the most. Today was really a pleasure. Thank you so much. 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 Thank you so and here we go with the start of the round with Mugi already pushing. Uh, Steven in the corner really wanting to get as much pressure on him as humanly possible. And just like this, Mugi already taking the first round extremely convincingly. Let's see how this pans out. Good lord. Okay, here we go with the take pressure from Mugi pushing. Steven ever so slightly in the corner. Got the close S, tried to get the juggle, unfortunately dropped it. Mookie definitely on a roll, man. Oh, and that air grab. Mookie, what the hell? What the hell did he eat today? This is crazy, man. He's definitely on a roll, man. Good lord. And here we go with the wake up overdrive. That being said, Steven was on point, was on guard. He knew that that was coming and he was able to block it in due time. And here we go with Steven. Even Steven taking that wall break. Okay, is he gonna push? Nope. Okay, he goes for the walk under. Ooh. And Mugi going for completely, well, completely crazy with this, the special attacks right here. Managed to seal the deal. Okay, what is Steven gonna do? Is he gonna change to Sol? We shall see. We shall see, we shall see. Is he gonna change? Nope. Steven sticking with ship. Let's see how this spins out. Uh, yep. Let's see how this spins out. Very nice, just guard, by the way, from Mugi. Here we go with the. Oh, Lord. Okay, here we go. Finally, Steven forced to pop the burst. No more burst anywhere. The one who gets open will have to endure all of the hits. Very nicely done by Steven. Gets the wall break. Oh, thank goodness I didn't miss. Yeah, you didn't miss it, man. You came right on time. A train. Okay, here we go with even Steven. Uh, going for the wall break, potentially. No, unfortunately, he drops it. Oh, and Mugi with the double. Fukio catches the bag. That's from Steven, and this should do. Kaboom. Yeah, 6 HS for the kill. Good stuff from Moogie, man. Moogie on a roll. This is crazy, man. Okay, and on to the next battle. Here we go. 2K2. Deep pressure. Steven gets a counter hit on the overhead. Gets the juggle. Oh, but drops it again. Okay, should get the juggle here. We get forced to pop the burst. Ah, Lord, and the speed of Steven in order to close the gap between him and his opponent. But unfortunately, again, yeah, scooped by Moogie. 
Wow, Steven reading. Oh, Lord. Reading that command grab right away. Jumps out of the corner, lands, hit your, his opponent, and then overdrives right away. Okay, is Mugi gonna pop the YRC? No, he's not. And he dies because of it. It's still okay. Still one more round to go. Mugi uh, probably needs this one if he wants to have a bit of a momentum. Oh, Lord. Okay, Steven going with the Gamma Blade to keep the pressure in. Uses the overhead into the RC in order to keep the pressure and, and to get the extension, actually. Okay, here we go with the 6P. How did he manage to 6P the, uh, the, the Beyblade? Well, yeah, the first part of the Beyblade is like, oh, Lord, this should be... Yeah, this is there. Good stuff from Steven. Resorts to using the command grab, knowing that uh, during the command grab action, uh, the, the command grab, uh, what's it called, um, animation, the health of uh, Magoriyuki actually falls down because of the, uh, the, the the blood burst. So Steven making sure of using the um, the um, command grab in order to force Nagoyuki into this um, this uh, well this health depleting uh, sequence and then uh, ensuring the kill without giving Mugi the opportunity to burst. Okay, anyways, here we go with Mugi using the overdrive. He's gonna get the hard knockdown. Look at the damage. Well, it's still okay, all things considered. Yeah, well, it's a nice, healthy little 75% uh, health de decrease. And this should do for Mugi. Okay, takes the first round. How uh, is that going to pan out? We shall see. Oh, Lord, that 6 HS round start. That was sick. And Mugi with the Abare finds the opening, man. Escorts even ever so slightly in the corner. Goes for the jump in. Oh, no, too far. Too far to get the command grab, that being said. We went one, went one way, let's go the other. But Steven waking up with the back dash into the Abare, Abare buttons. Still managed to get back some momentum, but got wall broken at the end. Oh no, what the hell? Post wall break into immediate super. That was sick, and Steven, man, going for the... That's not gonna be enough. That was sick, man. That was so sick. The reads. The reads. Okay, here we go with the... Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. And he got scooped by the 2S. Good stuff from Moogie. Moogie going up 2-0. to zero. Stay on the loser's bracket, though. That was sick. Is, are we going to see a bracket reset? That would be pretty crazy. Let's see if Steven is going to change his character or not. We shall see. Nope. Sticking to his guns. Rightfully so. Let's see how this spins out. <laughs> That's... Wait. That super was crazy, man. Here we go. Steven already forced above the burst. Yeah, Steven really trying to... Well, he's buffering stuff in order to react to, like... Uh, trying, trying to react to normals from uh, from that movie throws his way. Oh, okay, can you really go to jump in? Steven tried to put... Oh, Lord, he gets scooped by the 6, but you hate to see it. He's gonna do a lot of damage. Good Lord! Oh, here we go, the Abare of Steven gets out of the corner and gets hit by the standing K from Mugi. Mugi on the verge of resetting this bracket. Who is going to take it? Are we going to see a bracket reset? Steven definitely does not want to go through a bracket reset right now. Here we go, the Gamma Blade. Okay. Oh, he gets the corner combo. Gonna get the wall break. Here we go, the jump in. Ooh, Lord. Steven looking pretty good right now. Okay, gonna get, again, the wall break and not enough to kill because of guts. Oh, Lord. Uh, Steven, a little bit overextended there. Oh, no, gets grabbed. Did you see it? And here we go to wake up a bar from Steven for the kill. Okay, still on bracket reset point. Oh, Lord. Big concept, man. Counter hit. You hate to see it. The juggle following it made the life of Chip completely melt. Nagoyuki no ashi, so it's like. Mo, nagasugi de shio. Good lord. Okay, here we go with. Oh lord, and the immediate start of the round with the, the Rick coming in. Okay, here we go to Forest. Gonna get the juggle with the RC extension. Gonna get the wall break. Oh, okay, Mugi using the forward Roman cancel. Uh, to try to see what Steven was going to uh, try to throw his way. Steven did manage to block everything correctly, and he's gonna get the kill thanks to a very nice patient from Steven, man. Steven definitely not out of this yet. We have two matches apiece. Is Moogie going to 
have what it takes to reset this record. We shall see in a couple of minutes. Good lord. Oh, this is crazy, man. This is so crazy. What is gonna happen? Suki, Suki, Yaki. I called it. <laughs> Good lord. Well, technically, Yuki called it. <laughs> I didn't call it. Bounce up! Exactly, Mario. So you. You, you close it correctly. <laughs> okay, here we go with the wall break from Steven, man. And Steven goes for the Ibari, man. Here we go with the overhead. Oh, no, he drops it. You want to see it? Oh, no, not like this, Steven, Steven. Okay, we got it. Perfect. Okay, so Steven on the verge of winning tournament. This is tournament point, ladies and gentlemen. Is Moogie going to steal it from Steven? Or is Steven going to close it? We shall see. A roll ah, that was a big, big, big Hashimoto counter. Here we go with the wall break and Mugi down 50% of his health already. Wow, ah, the big counter hit, you hate to see it. Yeah, Mugi definitely on his last legs right here. No, what? Oh, that air come, but that air grab, man. Okay, here we go. Very nicely done by Mugi. Did force the burst. Okay, here we go. Ah, the wall break is that gonna be enough? This should be enough, and it is. And just like this, ladies and gentlemen, Steven is your Brojo Cup number seventy-five.